Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more live streaming slash videos on the channel. We've got something a little bit different here today. We're going to be playing some Crusader Kings 2 on the Game of Thrones mod. We're going to be playing as Aegon Targaryen, Aegon the Conqueror. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I would really much appreciate it. Hi Topher O'Neill. Hi Simpsy. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. NT... How are we doing? Yeah, so it's been, what, four years since I've played Crusader Kings 2? It's been a while, but I'm in the Game of Thrones mood. I've been uploading a lot of House of the Dragon slash Game of Thrones, a Song of Ice and Fire typed videos on Total War. But I thought, why not? Let's change things up as a variety, as the spice of life. And yeah, we'll play some CK2. Uh, I didn't realize I had didn't have like heaps of the DLC so I had to buy the bloody um uh, subscription for <laughs> CK2 so I should have all the DLC now which is pretty cool it wasn't actually too much it was only like seven bucks so we're gonna be playing Crusader Kings now please be warned I haven't played CK2 the Game of Thrones mod in four years so it's been a while so there's gonna be some misplays there's gonna be some hiccups and hopefully we don't have any game crashes either so it's the wild wild west here at the moment it's a drowned thing yo yo welcome welcome okay so single player and we're gonna start things off with the war of the conquest and we're gonna have i think what we'll do is we'll try and do aegon's conquest try and make the seven kingdoms bend the knee to Aegon the first and we'll try and like rename his children realistically to as they were in real life and maybe we can do some suggestions as well so let me know in the comments and chat feedback and suggestions I uh, would uh, really appreciate it uh, you guys can give me tips and tricks because uh, yeah it's been a while so Aegon Targaryen and his sisters have landed at the mouth of the Blackwater armed with three mighty dragons uh, Aegon offered marriage between his friend Oris's, uh, sitting back to, okay, so there's only going to be one true king, right, god, there's so much backstory here, so I guess we just, uh, no, I don't want to set that up, so, hang on, we'll see how we go, so let's just start, I thought the options can't be it, right, okay, so here we go, I have no idea if I should be changing these whatsoever. I have a, rem I have a memory back in the day we used to change things here and there. Been waiting for Bannerlord Two as Bannerlord content's on the rise for some reason. Yeah, look, we maybe could do some Bannerlord content. Last time I tried to download mods for it, it was incredibly un uh, unstable. But is the current Game of Thrones mod like good at the moment? Or is it kind of meh? Yeah, let me know in the chat. If you guys have played the Battle Lord Game of Thrones mod, let me know. Maybe that's something we could play. Like I said, I'm in the Game of Thrones mood. Okay, so Dance with Dragons spoilers off if you want to... Uh, okay, so you, I guess you can avoid stuff if you don't want. Uh, R plus L equals J, want that on. Yeah, I think we leave all this on. Alright, let's get stuck in to the Aegon the Conqueror series. Oh god, I can't wait to see how this goes. Back in CK2. It's uh, been a while. Alright, War of Conquest. It has been a century since the Doom of Valyria, which left House Targaryen as the last bastion of the Blood of the Dragon. We have strived to expand our holdings ever since, and now we are posed to conquer using the dragons as the ultimate weapon. Yeah, because they are kind of like nuclear weapons. We should be the only, obviously, faction in the game that has dragons. So, Aegon in battle should be able to absolutely decimate armies of the Seven Kingdoms. Rather than relying on our mere ma uh, Amiga manpower, the free cities called upon me to unite them into the Freehold. Westeros and its Seven Kingdoms, however, seemed a greater prize. Okay, so this is interesting. So <laughs> we could start off with obviously trying to make all of Westeros bend the knee, which I think is what we want to do. 
I will establish a new Valyrian Empire in Essos. So I guess we could leave if we wanted to. Actually, I've accepted the Storm King's offer of an alliance and we can marry the Stormlander's wife. No, we're going to go full Aegon in this. All of Westeros shall bend the name. Because I kind of felt like playing as Aegon. We could have done it in the Game of Thrones. We can probably still do it in the Fire and Blood Total War mod. It would just be a little bit weird because we're not actually making them bend the knee. We'd have to conquer them. But maybe if you say, hey, we conquer... I was thinking, I was doing some tests and I was like, uh, how do we do it? Do we go, if I conquer every single capital of the Seven Kingdoms, we call that a victory? Like, I don't know. I just feel like playing as Aegon is probably a bit better in CK2. Jackie Fish is doing it. And Simo, I don't know who Simo is. Hello, am I on time? Uh, I suppose so, Calvin. <laughs> the stream just goes up when it is. <laughs> I try to stick to a regular time, but oh man, I'm fucking hopeless. Always stuff coming up. I try my best to kick things off at about one o'clock, but stuff came up on the first stream that I did on the other channel. Which just obviously pushed the timing along. So we're going to be streaming for a couple hours here today. Okay, so who should we go after first? So I think it says... I think we go after the Iron Islands. Because House Hoa actually has most of the Riverlands. And obviously Harren Hall as well. So yeah, let's go. So now we're at war with them to the north here. Westeros is in a state of war. We should send ravens to the great... Lords, rattling them to the crown's defense. They will surely honor their obligations. Okay, I want to switch to the realms map because I think that's what I personally uh, like to look at. So let's have a look at diplomacy. So we're currently at war with House Hoa, which are in Harren Hall. So yeah, Iron King Harren the Black. Okay, let's uh, chuck a save, I suppose. So let's have a look at what we're working with. King Aegon of Westeros. High Valyrian. 11 Diplomacy. 30 Martial. Crikey. 11 Stewardship. 15 Intrigue. 5 Learning. So I guess we have an ambition. Win a war. Make a friend. Become exalted among men. So from what I can remember, we want to try and get a son early on. And he's currently married to Visenya. And, wait, hang on. Where's his other sister? Yeah, Rainies. Yeah, so it's all properly done. So, Basenia and Rainies, his uh, sister wives. Riverlands take Harrenhal. Dale, greetings from South Africa. Greetings, hello. Welcome from SA. Yeah, no, I haven't seen Jackie Fisher's uh, Bannerlog Game of Thrones content. Is the mod fleshed out or is it bare bones? I I don't know. Ben Hunter, hey, how you doing? Okay, so what else do we need to do here? So we can choose a focus. Oh god, so we have to set this stuff up as well. So from what I can remember, the last time I played CK3, I didn't even have this version. So we'll see how we go. I suppose war because we get martial. We want to make him just a full-on conqueror. We can even make this even higher. I guess it goes to 52. So, we'll select that. Treasury. Oh, cool. So, we've got Aegon's crown. And we have Blackfire. I guess this is the bloodlines of the House of the Dragon. Cool. We've also got uh, Oris Baratheon here. My bastard brother. <laughs> and I don't have any aunts or family members. But we'll see how we go. Hopefully... We can have a, a stable reign with um, Aegon and not have countless Targaryen civil wars. Have you ever thought of uploading this as a series on the channel? Uh, we're doing it now. Maybe in the future, but hey, we're doing it live. I feel like live streaming at the moment. Have been for the last couple of weeks, so. I'm going to continue on. So, what do we got here? So, Oris Baratheon is Hand of the King. Storm Singer is the Master of Law. Uh, Quentin is the Men at Arms. So we can get a Master of Whisperers. So who do we appoint? Should I allow 
So how does the family tree go again? Because I've got it on my phone here because I want to make it accurate. So... Yeah, so Rainy's... is Anis's mother. And then we've got like Magor the Cruel as well. Yeah, because it pivots, doesn't And then it goes Jaehaerys. So I think we'll make Rainies the um, Master of Whisperers. And then, we can, and then from in here, don't you have to set this? So, improve defenses. I guess we could improve the defenses of King's Landing. Build it up might be a smart idea. But as you guys come on in, make sure to leave the stream a like. I'd really much appreciate it. Particularly if you want to see more CK3, because I will be sort of judging how well this video slash stream does compared to the medieval two ones because if it does really well we can do more of it if more people are interested in it okay so i think should we try and improve relations with let's say house martel because they're probably a faction that we're not going to conquer for not for, for quite some time we can organize the army or we can train the troops there's no point of training children because we don't have any but maybe training the troops here in King's Landing might be a good idea. Uh, overseeing construct... Maybe just collecting taxes. And I want to build a spy network. I suppose. Four twenty in the name of the Seven Kingdoms. Dale, okay. I lit... I literally only play CK2 Game of Thrones mod. It's super good. Yeah, I've played it before, but like I said, it's probably been... I probably haven't played it in four or five years. Six, maybe. It's been four years since I've done a series. I think I did a lot of series on this way, way back in the day. But I also haven't played with all these DLCs that I've got now. So yeah, feel free to let me know feedback and suggestions. And if you see something that I'm not doing, help me out. I'm more than happy to indulge and interact with backseat gamers. <laughs> But just setting this up is going to take us a little bit as well. But I'm also interacting with chat. Yeah, so feel free to ask me anything. I'll try and answer as best I can. We can talk Game of Thrones. House of the Dragon. We can talk about this series. Whatever. But yeah, no, I personally prefer the Game of Thrones mod for CK2. It's a shame there's not one for CK3 yet. That's properly fleshed out. Not quite fleshed out, but good enough as all the factions have unique... Units, I think, yeah. So it's really just battles, NT, is it? Because, yeah, I kind of want to wait. Like, the main thing I like about the Warband Game of Thrones mod is the quests. You want someone with high intrigue, but doesn't hate you. Is that for Master of Whisperers? So she's got nine. So now that I've already done that, if I kick her out... It <laughs> might piss her off. So, was one of my other sister wives better? Ah, oh, shit. I should have given it to Visenya, I suppose. No matter. Uh, we need a regent. So, I guess I give, make regent uh, Visenya the regent. What do you guys reckon about that? It's super fleshed out. Not sure if you know much about the lore, but there's so many unique events and stuff that happens in this mod. Yeah, well, I haven't played Aegon. I haven't actually played as Aegon, I don't think. I've played as Bobby B, Bobby, Robert Baratheon. I've played as um, the Mad King, but essentially playing as Rhaegar. We played as Jon Snow. We played as da Daenerys. There's a bunch of stuff here. She'll be pissed if you kick her off the council. Yes, I thought then. <laughs> so I think we'll make... Uh, yes, I think we'll make Visenya Queen Regent. So setting this up again. Uh, we need bodyguards as well. So I guess we can make Visenya a bodyguard. And we'll make Quentin Master of Arms. Okay, Court Jester. Yeah, so you sort of you sort of want to get people that like you. Uh, isn't Court Jester a little bit of an insult? So maybe not. Master of Swans. Valerion. Uh... Who have we got here? 
Master of the Hunt. We probably want to go with... Hang on, could I make Aurus Sparathia my cup? No, that's probably not a good idea. He might bloody poison me. No, it might be alright. Okay, so we've got some commanders here which we can add. So... I guess we chuck a couple of these guys in. Because there are going to be plenty... really the biggest fan of the seven so it's kind of a little bit weird us yeah I'm just trying to think I should give it to I guess it doesn't really matter maybe we give it to one of these courtiers uh Visenya can be the tutor King's Justice yeah cool we'll leave it at that all right so here's my council so this is the small council Oris Baratheon is the hand of the king Dude, there's so many events here as well. Laws. So, do we want to change any of this as the Targaryens? Medium realm authority. authority. Slavery illegal. Okay. Controlled realm inheritance. Illegal. Obligations. Okay, that's probably something we should keep an eye on. Uh, let's chuck a save. Before we get things rolling. So, militarily, we are currently at war with House Hoa now. So, we have the Storm Kings down here. We have Dawn with Mira of Dawn. Uh, who else we got? We've got House Gardener in the Reach. We've got Lauren Lannister. Yeah, so the Hoars actually, like, even though they're like from the Iron Islands, they actually control most of the Riverlands, which is kind of cool. We have Ronald Aaron. We might need to marry into them soon because. Rhaenyra's mother was an Aaron, and we have Torrent Stark up in the north. Okay, so let's have a look here. Um, so I guess we rally the army, and we try and move everyone to, let's say, King's Landing. So let's mobilize. We've also got a fleet as well. So how do I get these... Can I... Hang on. Uh, embark. There we go. I remember now. Let's move everyone to rally up. And we'll get them to King's Landing. Get absolutely everybody. And then we'll make a play for Harren Hall, I suppose. I suppose a beeline. Greyjoys. What's well, House are? They're essentially the... Greyjoys, I suppose. The Greyjoys are a minor house. Yeah, because House Tyrell isn't in this... They're a steward of House Gardener. And House Hoa gets basically destroyed. So, we can do some intrigue now. So, let's have a couple of these. So, we can employ a new courtier. So, what is a storm singer? I don't know. How much money do we have? Because we've got to keep an eye on our wealth as well. Is there a point of building buildings? Or is there a point of constructing buildings, rather? Because Westeros is kind of built up here at the moment. Yeah, let me know. I'm not really too sure what to construct. 
Do you have a dragon? Yeah, Aegon has a dragon, I suppose. Maybe getting a Master of Law in. <clears throat> okay, establish a household guard. It's 100 gold, which is quite a bit. We can legitimize Oris Baratheon. Legitimize your half-brother and good friend Oris. So his line and name may continue. No, I don't think so. I would much rather give him the Lordship of Storm's End. If I'm being honest. Hold a summer fair. Search for a smith. Take out a loan. No, we don't want any of that. Anything else we can see here? Show... Oh, here we go. Yeah, so... Show owners of Valyrian blades. So there's a bunch of them that have daggers. And show me the dragons. So there are some wild dragons. Maraxes, Vega, and Balerion. So where are the dragons? There should be a dragon family tree. I would imagine Aegon just straight up has a dragon. Okay, uh, we can probably create a plot. So, what plot? What's, what kind of plot should we do? Maybe try and kill the Storm King? I don't know. Yes, buildings are very strong. If you select King's Landing, you should be able to build stuff there. It gives you extra troops, tax and income. More money is always nice. Yeah, I never really sort of look into the building game too much. Yeah, so it costs quite a bit. But it's probably something to look into, most definitely. Okay, let's do a plot. Yeah, I think we try and kill the Storm King, if we can. <laughs> you can plot to kill yourself. What is this? Um, Skyrim, playing as the Dark Brotherhood. We can fabricate eviden evidence. I'm just trying to think, maybe not. Uh, maybe I need to click on him. Yeah, here we go. So let's plot to kill. And then see how we go. And then I guess we auto-invite plotters. So there's no factions. Uh, so there's not really a religion here at the moment. The Citadel. Oh, here we go. The Maces of the Citadel are an order of scholars, healers, messengers, and scientists. Their seat at the Citadel is located in an old town. Yeah, so who's down here? Where is it? We have Manfred Hightower. Cool. Okay, so we've got some important decisions which we can leave. We have one advisor position here on the small council. And I suppose Visenya comes in to help out. We have a special title. We can set a crown focus. Set the Blackwater Bay as your crown focus. Uh, sure, let's do that. And we can press claims in the north. We can negotiate annexation with a couple of factions. Okay. The High Lordship of Hayford. Okay, so these, so all these factions here are willing to bend the knee to the Targaryens. So we have Bauman of Hayford, Robert of Duskendale, who's a Darklin, and it's just those two. Well, if the House of Darklin and Hayford want to bend the knee to Aegon Targaryen, sure. You have decided to try and negotiate the annexation. Um... I guess they could bait me. So I guess I send Oris. <laughs> and... We'll see. Hang on. By favour. Okay. Well, we're pr probably nearly at a stage where we're set up so we can unpause. Good to know auto plots. Yep. I'll stop murdering people in each other's court. Okay. Try to give yourselves vassal positions so they don't get pissed off. I'm sure once we get some more, we can do that. Okay, well, let's unpause and rally up at King's Landing. Your Grace, so Robert Darklin has refused your demand and has taken up arms. Okay. Your Grace. Yeah, so they ended up refusing anyway. That's interesting. The Valyrian freehold politics was dominated by 40 families. They spoke high Valyrian. Okay. I am the blood of old Valyria. 
So, I guess he's officially now King Aegon as it's kicked off. All hail his grace, Aegon of the House of Targaryen, the first of his name, King of the Andals, the Rhoynar, and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. Long live the king. Oh, wow. So, have I stuffed up here? Because that is a lot of units. That have rebelled a bit against us. What the hell? Oh no. There's so many of them. Okay, like I said, we're still trying to rally up at King's Landing. Oh shit. Westeros is at a state of war. Yeah, I guess they didn't want to be subjugated. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Okay, so there's a couple units there. So I suppose we give Visenya and who else is the better commander? We get Damon to help out. Damon Valarian. And I suppose we wait to get to full strength. And we try and... Oh, they're going to intercept us here though. So maybe we need to march out. But Aegon has a dragon. So we should be okay. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't the play to make them bend the knee. So we've got an engagement here, just south of Hayford, but we've been successful. Riding over the plains, I see a group of... Oh no, soldiers coming for my unit. When they're finished with us, all the men are dead. I sink to my knees and wonder why I'm here. Oh no, could Aegon die? <laughs> oh shit. We're all better. Damn Targaryen, okay. So, I, what happened? I don't belong here. You will struggle in the future to overcome these events. Okay, where is the enemy commander? I must kill him myself. I guess you can run down Balman to see what happens. You turn to face Lord Reaver Balman, and he breaks his charge and flees. Your pursuit, yeah, you pursue, but lose the track of him in the chaos. Coward, okay. Lucky there, I suppose. Alright, let's slow things down slightly. Nice. So, we're still continuing to rally up. We are hemorrhaging a little bit of cash. Pretty sure when you're in battle, you can use Intrigue that lets you use your dragon. Okay. Okay. It's not like auto. Like, surely every time he goes in battle, he should be using a dragon, you'd think. By the way, where can I get this mod? Seems to have disappeared from the Steam Workshop. Has it ever been on the Steam Workshop? I didn't know that. I got off mod DB. Still yet to have any children, though. Okay, so let's go back to diplomacy. Nice. So we really haven't fought any House Hoa units. I think I might disable the fleet here, because everyone's here that we need to be. So, let's try and take Hayford as a settlement. I don't know how long it's going to take exactly. Your Grace, we have taken Hayford, but Lord Balman is nowhere. Um, I guess we... Have all these family be put into the dungeon. We lose 30 piety though. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Take his family into house arrest. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. It was a year ago. I choose the take myself out option, right? <laughs> Whatever, man. Yes, Aegon. Yes, yes, Aegon the Conqueror. So far, trying to get the crown lands under his control. Yeah, I suppose we take the family into custody. I don't know. Okay, so let's do that test. So let's try and get to a battle. And then once we're in battle, we'll see if a, an option to use the dragon pops up. Okay, so we're here now. You said Intrigue. Use the dra- Are you sure he's not using the dragon here in this fight somehow? Mm. 
Mm, maybe he's just a chad of a commander. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Yeah, so we can ransom the prisoners. We can actually get some more units, which is pretty sick. Yeah, so hang on. So if I go... Show me the dragons. Is that an option there? I don't know. I don't know how exact dragons exactly work in this. I'm assuming they just do. Yes, use house arrest. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we still want to... Uh, maybe try and move you here. Try and move you here. And we'll rally up to the north. But like I said, guys... Yeah, it's uh, been a while. Okay. Since uh, I've played this mod. So we can enforce the demands of Hayford instantly. So that's what I do. We've essentially made them bend the knee. Oh god. So we've already got some people plotting against us. That's a big fleet coming in. Anyway, we're still sitting here. Oh, am I blind? Top of the list in intrigue. Deploy in deploy in dragon battle when Aegon is fighting. Top of intrigue list, Isaac. Okay, well, we'll go, we'll rally up, and we'll go into this fight, because there's 5,000 men of Duskendale, which is quite a bit. So, we're definitely going to need this dragon to help us out. History is a subject that has always fascinated you. Nice. Aegon is studying the old ways of old Valyria. Cool. Alright. So... Let's chuck a save. So we'll go into this fight at Duskendale. We're fighting. Now I'll quickly pause. I'll just go a little bit. And then top of intrigue. Oh yeah, nice. Deploy dragons in battle. You guys aren't trolling me. It's there. So I guess we'll do that then. The enemies are beyond counting. Their ranks reach beyond the horizon. Armor shining in the midday sun. Your dragon roars. In eager anticipation, and you cannot help savoring your victory. Nice. So I guess we take them out. So Aegon is flying on Balerion, the Black Dread. So what can we do? We can just go <laughs> Dracarys. It's pretty funny how like they like, it's like Dracarys, like bloody Rhaenyra when she fucking dropped the fucking D. Like, how did she do it? She's like Dracarys. <laughs> Fucking great. Just about to play some CK2 as well. And I saw your stream. Thanks, Shrek Sun. Yeah, people were suggesting it. I, um... So far, it's been fun. My soldiers can handle themselves. The problem is, it's like, surely this is like friendly fire. So there's a chance that Balerion can get maimed and killed. So you probably don't want to use it all the time. So I'm just sort of looking. Yeah, so it's not going to affect any of mine. So, Dracarys. Oh my god, I <laughs> just absolutely wiped out their army. Holy shit. Nice. That's so, so cool. Well, let's push to Duskendale to bring it under our control. Okay, so I can speed things up slightly. Oh no, we've been attacked at Dragonstone. Oh shit. Your grace, an enemy host approaches. Encircling the castle. What should we do? This castle is impregnable. We will be safe here. Uh, yeah, I was not expecting a house hoa attack out of nowhere. Holy shit. Well, I guess we're going to need my navy back then. And we'll get the navy to head to... Hang on, how do I click on the navy? No, oh, there we go. Try and get it to Duskendale, I suppose. Oh shit, so we're going to have to stop that siege. That's pretty crazy. Oh no, am I, my navy's getting screwed. No, that's alright. So... 
Oh, I don't have it under my control. So maybe we need to go to... Shit, I need to stop this siege. We could lose Dragonstone. But there's a massive host there. Ah, yes. Fate, spi uh, sm fate smiles upon me. My wife, Visenya, is pregnant. Nice. Very nice. Alright, moving everyone over. Yeah, I also thought the way Rhaenyra said it was kind of weird. Ah, I kind of low key liked it, but it was just—it was just like I wasn't expecting it. That was the main thing. You can deploy your dragon in sieges too if Aegon is leading the siege. Nice. Yeah, this is what I wanted to be doing, playing as Aegon, just going around conquering. With my wife Visenya pregnant, I'm starting to worry <laughs> if I shouldn't organize something special. I will dedicate. The entire festival to Visenya. Is that going to piss off my other wife, though? Uh, sure. Have we got the money? Yeah, we're making money. So. It'll be a nice omen. My wife has really taken on our roles during the festival. 100 pre prestige. Nice. Oh, God. More rebels here that have popped up. We need to deal with this 10k. We can hold on for this. So, let's embark the army. And let's head to Driftmark. And then Dragonstone. God. This is going to be tough, that 13k, I would imagine. Actually, maybe we just sit... Oh, did they take Dragonstone? Oh, shit. Okay, we're in battle now. We're going to need to deploy the dragon. So, let's go again. Dracarys. Holy shit, we just knocked out a 10k stack. Holy crap. Yeah, dragons. Very, very strong. Rhaenyra said it with like a Valyrian accent. I kind of liked it, by the way. Yeah, it's a, I, I don't know. Some people hated it, but I did, actually that was fine. I just found it funny. I just wanted to try and do it. <laughs> but as you guys come on in, make sure to leave the stream a like. I'd really much appreciate it. Particularly if you want to see more CK2. Is the CK3 Game of Thrones mod any good at the moment, or is it still, like, in Access and Beta and stuff? But yeah, we're taking my time with this. I want to read chat. We can talk Game of Thrones. We've got some rightful imprisonments as well. Let's do some of that. Okay, that sucks. Not really much else we can do here. I don't want to legitimize Oris Baratheon, though. Okay, cool. So where's this army going to go? Oh, they're just going to re re-siege... Dragonstone. Okay, how can I rely on my generals when their understanding of warfare is so lacking compared to that of my own? Who's this? Rainies. I guess we're 35 and she's 19. So we can make her a inspiring leader? Sure. And she accepted my lessons. In the chaos surrounding... The Battle of Dragonstone. My men, my men cornered. Oh, nice! Iron King Harold the Black has been surrounded. Who cut down several of my good men before taking a mighty blow of an axe to the head? Oh no! Harold the Black didn't burn in his castle. He uh, took an axe to the fucking skull. Didn't they just release modding for CK3? I thought they'd been working on it for quite some time. The CK3 got mod isn't out yet. It seems like the modders are pretty far along its development. Nice. Thanks, whatever, man. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I played a couple, um... CK3 campaigns, of course. England. What do we play? It's France. I know I've been attacked here now. Oh, House Blackwood has, um... Answered the call. Nice. Obviously, really quite loyal to House Targaryen. So we've also managed to capture another Hoar. His brother. Nice. So there's a new Lord of House Hoar. Um, my prisoner is complaining. Let him rot. Okay, so 
It is good tradition to have some gossip around the pregnancy. It is my duty as Visenya's husband to give her the support she needs. Ah, uh, sure. I need to turn this down a second. My god, the Ironborn keep coming back. Oh, dear brother husband. Great. Blessings upon you. We would like to block your, back your pot, plot of killing John Rosby. <laughs> what a fucking message to get. God. Yeah, so I guess you can use the dragon every time if you want, but you might not want to. Oh, shit. I might actually lose King's Landing here. I've been focusing on... The, um... The battle here at Driftmark. I've neglected... The battle in the Crown Lands. We've captured another cell sword unit. Okay, I might need to split the army because we're so back and forth. Oh no, here comes House Blackwood. They're coming to help. Nice. Yeah, we just can't seem to, like, fully defeat them. Can I get any more military forces, potentially? Uh, we can raise slightly more levies. Yeah, so maybe I split things up. Because we should have two armies in operation. Oh god, another 8k's come back there, shit. Well, at least the Blackwoods are here. Maybe the Blackwoods can really help out. So it's just a little bit back and forth here at the moment. For some reason, the Hoa AI just continually wants to take Dragonstone, and I don't know why. Oh, you have a new heir. If your character dies, you will now play as Rhaenys Targaryen. Oh, nice. Aegon had a daughter. Can I rename her, or did I skip the option? No, we can rename here. So, I'm pretty sure Aegon had sons first, didn't he? Yeah, Aenys and Maegor. So, what do you guys think of that name? Should I rename her? I guess her mother is Rainies. We should maybe... Alisane? That might be a good name. What's a good Targaryen name? Elise? Emma? <laughs> or should we just keep it as that? Who are my allies? Uh, at the moment... I think the Blackwoods. That's about it. Everyone else we're at war with. Send a force to Harrenhal with a dragon. And have another force defend the Crown Lands. Yeah, it might get to that. Because that will cut off House Hoa. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll land, we'll crush this, and I'll make a beeline to Harrenhal. Because you have to capture capitals in this game to uh, fully destroy them, don't you? Now, should I wait to get it full strength? Or should I just, like, straight up just send it with the fucking dragon? Do you know what I mean? Like, should... Even with... Even at half strength, the dragon should be, like, really overpowered. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Vicon Targ... Uh, Vicon Greyjoy of Pike tried to slay the dragon and failed. Oh, no. That could be the end of House Greyjoy. Shit. <laughs> I right, quickly move here now. Nice. Rainies is uh, pregnant now. Okay. So, like I said, we want to embark and we'll make a beeline to Harrenhal. Oh, nice. We just crushed them. Yeah. We could have split the army, but I think we're okay. 
Yeah, so let's attack their capital. This siege has been abandoned and will not resume until the force attacking is larger. Shit, we can't attack it because we haven't got enough men. That's kind of shit. Rainies is alright. Seems Valerian. Wouldn't mind changing it. Send it with the dragon. Full strength should be able to beat a bigger garrison. Valerian is OP. Yeah, why can't I attack this? There's probably a reason. Have I not got enough men, technically? I probably could get some mercy. No, I'm not actually making that much money, to be fair. Uh, none of these pop-ups here can we do. We could ransom to get some more units, potentially. Yeah, no, we can't seem to attack Harrenhal. Is there a way to, f to like, force it? Attempt an assault. It's not possible. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything we can do about that. Okay, let's uh, move Vesenia in here. She should be helping fighting. You can attack the capital with your dragon. You just don't have enough men. Yeah. Well, that sucks. I guess we just go after the armies where we can. Because if I switch to this view, yeah, we still got this region. We still have Duskendale. Not under our control. Maybe if we capitulate the crown lands, they'll bend the knee. Or maybe if... Hmm. Hang on, can I call the Blackwoods? Seems like the Brackens are coming to help as well, which is kind of cool. I might be able to get them to... Attempt to go. Yeah, so hang on. So here we go. If I click on... We need to wait 30 days before we can do that assault. Okay, that's something to keep an eye on. Let's speed things up slightly. Okay, nice. We can offer peace with House Duskendale. Let's do that. So they have more men than you, so you can't attack. I'm pretty sure the dragon can still nuke it down. Just tell your allies to stick to your army. Yeah, I think there's a... How do I do that? There's something here. Ally order attack. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's There we go. Perfect. Ah, oh, you have a new heir. Aerion Targaryen. Oh god, Aegon is starting to pump him out. Yeah, so I do want to try and change this. Because the heir that was after Aegon was Aenys the First, And then I guess we'll call the other one Magor. So, let's rename you to... You can even, like, randomize. That's cool. No, so we'll, we'll try and make it realistic, so... And hopefully he survives, so... Aenys the first, because then he goes Aenys, Jaehaerys, uh... Baylor, and then Viserys. So, Aenys will go. Cool. Aenys. Alright, let's, uh, move you up here. Just go to your intrigue. Yeah, yeah. So we fulfilled our ambition of having a son, which is nice. Oh, they're bloody attacking Dragonstone again. Yeah, so apparently we don't have enough again. But hang on. Deploy dragon in siege. Yeah, you're right. Dude, <laughs> this is so overpowered. Yeah, your enemies think they are safe on the other side of rock and mortar. Do the fools truly believe such petty defenses could hold your fire? Yeah, here we go. We're about to have the siege 
and fiery conquest of Harrenhal. Your grace, the castle has fallen. Your dragon made quick work of bathing the defenders in dragon fire. D D Dracarys! <laughs> Not one person survived. Harlan Hoa uh, being among the dead. Okay. So, we've crushed House Hoa. So, I guess we enforce demands? Yeah. That's what we want. And... So, House Hoa still rules the Iron Islands. Now, I can't remember in the books or in the lore, let's say, after... I think House Hoa was destroyed and then the Greyjoys took it up in the King's Moot. Am I not wrong? I can't remember. Nice, but that worked though. And we're only at war with Stokeworth. So let's move south. Now I'm going to have to look at the titles because I might have been given some titles that I don't really want to hoard too much. But we'll see. The Lord of uh, Cracklaw Point has long resisted the Overlord of Outsiders. Hopefully they will submit. Another kingdom is being conquered. Who shall submit to the true lord of the seven kingdoms next? Yeah, maybe I'll ask you guys this. Who should we go after? Should we go after the Storm Kings? Should we go after the Lannisters? Or should we go after the Reach? Let me know in the chat. Good shit, King Soul. <laughs> First kingdom down, like six more to go, I think. Household are all burned in the Siege of Harrenhal. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, let me... Oh, the Vale will... Wait, hang on. The Vale will... The Vale will do me... Wait, what? The Vale will do me feel... Wait, the Vale will do... Will do me fealty next. Right, yeah, okay. It didn't seem like good English. But I'm pretty sure there was no f battle for the Vale. Didn't they uh, fly up there? Okay, so we've got one vote for the Lannisters, one vote for the Stormlanders, one vote to Lannisters, Lannisters. Storm Kings, help the odds of Oris marrying Argella. I, I think my vote would be the Stormlanders, the Storm Kings. No debt owed to the Lannisters, just loyalty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we got two for the Stormlight and then me, so it's three. Two for the Lannisters. Yeah, I think we'll go for the Stormlanders. Back at war again. Oh! Oh no! Your Grace, we've received word from the Reach. King Mern has formed a coalition to defend the Stormlands. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no, and it looks like the Lannisters have joined them. Oh, we're at war with everyone. We're at war with uh, the majority of Westeros now. Holy shit. Well, let's get more levies in. We'll rally up at King's Landing, and then we'll probably have to divide some armies up here. So, it looks like our line is uh, strong at the moment. So, what does the line of succession go? Aenys, Rhaenys, Visenya, Rhaenys, the mother. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we can actually re rebuild Harrenhal if we want. Nice, there's so much stuff here to do. Man, I forgot how good this mod is. I'm having so much fun today. Hope you guys are as well. Okay. So, Vassal levies raised too long. Does that really matter? Like, will that really bite me in the ass? Um, I might ransom some of those prisoners to give us some more cash. So, we can create the Kingdom of the Trident. And how much does that cost? 400 prestige. So, I suppose we do it. 
King Aegon has created... Yeah, so that's so then we can give that to someone, can't we? We can make someone the Lord of the Trident. Okay. Oh, we got some threats here. Like, should we... So what have we got? Yeah, because these are going to start to... Have we got too many of these titles? Because this is another thing in CK2 you need to worry about. Like, you don't want to hoard titles too much. Because they can get a little bit shitty. Uh, we can upgrade some of these holdings, but they cost way too much. Oh, nice. We can pick another ambition as well. I guess... Have five children. That would be a good one. Yeah, so these titles here, for example, should I give the the Kingdom of the Trident to someone? Or should I keep it for myself? And the Lordship of Harrenhal as well. Should I give that away or should I keep that myself? I don't know. What's the best thing to do? Oh, I missed one came in in the north. Yes, I did. You're right. Like, just... Yeah, so I guess... So, Edmund of Riverrun. Is still there. Okay. It does Aegon have his Night King killing dagger? That's an artifact. <laughs> the cat's paw. It's uh, not a thing in the lore at all. Uh, the vassal thing will affect your opinion a bit. But you should be fine. Impedes the lord after conquest. Yeah. The Blackwoods should get the trident. Because they switch sides first. IMO. Yeah, I agree on the Blackwood thing. It would be cool to reward them. The north will remember tonight. Okay. Wait, what? The north will be warm tonight. I think you should remember. <laughs> the north remembers. Okay, well, yeah, let's uh, negotiate with the Blackwoods. I like House Blackwood, dude. The Brackens and Blackwoods going at it. Hilarious. Where are the Blackwoods? Here. So, uh, Mathis is the leader of House Blackwood. So, you guys say I should... Give him the title of the Kingdom of the Trident. Is that what you guys want me to do? Should I include the lower title as well? And what about the Lordship of Harrenhal? Yeah, but I guess I give them the Kingdom of the Trident. Let the Blackwoods be Lords of the Trident. Yeah, I think I will do that. No, that's pretty cool. But that's as well. This that's what this series is all about. Like interact with you guys, getting your feedback. I think that's a cool suggestion. I wonder, like, does he have, is that black wood, like, feather cloak still a thing? <laughs> this early on? What's his face in uh, Clash of Kings? Has, like, a, a feather cloak, which is hilarious. I love it. Well, yeah, I think we'll just do that. Keep Harrenhal, include the lower titles, which will give them Harrenhal. Do that, yep. Cool, we'll do that. Hopefully we don't get too many bad, unforeseen consequences. Alright, so that's nothing. Alright, so like I said, we still want to rally up. Oh, nice! <laughs> we want to uh, rally up for King's Landing. Great success! Oh, can you guys remember the assassination plot we did, uh, did on King... Uh, Argalak? Uh, Argal... I don't know, fucking who knows. Anyway, the Storm King. Success. The mercenaries ambushed the carriage of the Storm King and made short work of him. Tung, tung, tung. Like fucking crossbow bolts coming out. Nice. They let the driver go and he's convinced the attack was carried out by some highwaymen. Oh, those nasty bastards. And... Oh, perfect. Perfect. King Aegon has usurped the title of the... 
Storms uh, end now. Nice. Wait, hang on. He sh should have surrendered when he had the chance. Oh, we can actually... Wait, what? I thought he was dying. I thought he... Oh, I, 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 I guess they were going to banish him, potentially. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is perfect timing. Nice. You play CK2? Yeah, I, I haven't played it in like... Like I said, I haven't done a YouTube series in like four years, but I used to play it heaps back in the day. Lamau, <laughs> huge murder. <laughs> Should be easy wars from here on out. Easy boys. Give the trident to the Tully. No, we already gave it to the um, the Blackwood. Boy came back to CK2. Yeah, I did, Bonsai. I'm going to call you Bonsai now. You can, you can change my name as much as you want. But you're always going to be Bonsai to me. Fucking Bonsai made me do fucking... Um, spend, made me spend 15 minutes trying to find some bow in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you, you fucker. <laughs> you guys trolling me. Oh, this shit's too funny. I told you it'd do it. It would do well. Yeah, people seem to be liking it. I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, so now we need to go after someone else. Uh, I guess we go after... Yeah, who do we go after? Lannisters, Reach, Vale, or the North? Where do we go? Probably the Reach would be my vote. Love to be a lowly count and watch the stream. Seven Kingdoms on Fire. Yeah, it's been pretty fun so far. Yeah, I think this is more enjoyable playing as Aegon than playing Fire and Blood, uh, Aegon's Conquest. Because you can actually make these factions bend the knee. Strike the Reach. So that's two votes for the Reach. But it's roughly doing it. I reckon the Reach. There's a slight delay, so I'll let you guys. North, three for the reach. North is a little bit ambitious. But yeah, as you guys come on in, make sure to leave the stream a like. Would really much appreciate it. Particularly if you want to see more CK2. Yeah, so a lot of people want to go to the reach, so we'll do that then. The land of the reach are fertile. And I wonder if... Oh, God. I was going to say, I wonder if the Lannisters or anyone else would come. I think House Gardner bent the knee. Oh, wow. Because this has turned a crazy turn of events. Because House Gardner famously didn't surrender. Your Grace... I see no point in conflict with you and your dragons. I hereby surrender and swear to you my fealty forthwith. He is wise. House Gardner has bent the knee. So it looks like in this alternative timeline, House Tyrell will not seat uh, High Garden. That's kind of cool. I like that. Nice to see you doing CK2 again. It's been a while since you've been on videos. Really enjoying this one so far. Glad to see you liking it too. Yeah. Thanks, whatever, man. Yeah, it's a, been a lot of fun here today so far. I'm really enjoying it. I'd say Reach of the Westlands, Northern Ambition Dragons. I surrender. Just go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they fucking, like, this, <laughs> the bloody um, Stormlander King got taken out. Assassinate, like, oh shit, he's got dragons and assassins. What the hell is this? Yeah, I suppose we go west now. Oh no, hang on. Shit, there's a Oris Baratheon development yet. I haven't yet given him the bloody title of the Stormlands, which I'd want to do. Oris Baratheon, the loyal warrior sworn to House Targaryen, has taken a key lead in our invasion. Perhaps we should reward him um, by awarding him the lands of the late Storm King and granting him a marriage with his daughter. Yes, he has been a lethal servant. No, they must go to a native... No, we want to make Oris... Yeah, we've got to make Oris the Lord of Storm's End. 
Yeah, we got it. We can't not. Oh, God. <laughs> Gates of Old Town. Holy shit. I love how much I have to fucking read in this game. I have to practice. <laughs> Uh, the conquest of the Reach is complete. High Garden now swears fealty to the dragons. And next we march on Old Town. There, the High Septum of the Faith of the Seven. Upon hearing of my landing in Westeros, fasted and prayed for seven days and nights under the dome of the Starry Sept in Old Town. Okay. He's doing some crazy fasting. Religious fasting. Okay, cool. He then announced that the Faith would not uh, have them oppose us. Because of the crone. Had shown him the crone. What is this? Some witcher shit. Uh, ra da ra da ra. Saw the destruction of Old Town and the dragon plays. Lord Hightower here did his advice and opened the gates of Old Town to my host. Yeah, because there's this whole like, maester conspiracy potentially in the books that like... They helped bring down the dragons. Originally over hundreds of years. If I were now to convert to the Seven, the people of Westeros would more than likely resist it. Wait, will most likely cease to resist. But should I abandon the old gods of Valyria? The gods that granted us dominion over the dragons? Oh, shit. Okay, so... King Aegon becomes the Faith of the Seven. High Septon. No, I am the blood of old Valyria. Hmm. That's interesting because... Most of the other houses, particularly the high towers, you can even see it in Hot D, that the lower lords pray to the seven and like the old gods and stuff. But the house, the house Targaryens, kind of like meh, like whatever. They're not really that overly religious. Yeah, should I make Aegon believe in the faith of the seven? Did he believe it, or is this? The crone. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. The crone is one of the seven. Yeah, well, I was thinking. I'm thinking of Witcher. I've been in the Witcher. My brain's in the Witcher universe at the moment. Old blood. Uh, Aegon converted in the law. That would sacrifice polygamy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I really want to give up my sister wise? Hmm. High towers. There. Very careful. Without the seven. Kind of coat. Yeah. You can still do incest. Nah. Old Valyria, old gods. I don't think it. Wait, no, sorry, old Valyria. Yeah, I think I should go. No, I'm the blood of the dragon, because it only pisses off the High Septon. Like who's <laughs> fucking Wincest? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't believe someone said that. <laughs> oh God. Uh, incest. I, I mean Wincest. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Aegon says to Visenya and fucking Rainies. Yeah, so I guess we go with the blood of old Valyria. So this is the same thing again. Uh, nice. Your grace, I will honor my allegiance to take out arms to defend you. Nice. Oris Baratheon. Excellent. Not only has he chosen to support me against the war, Yes, yeah, so he's bent the knee like fully. Nice. Oh, things are going very, very well for Aegon. I thought things were a little bit sketchy, but so far been pretty fun. 
I guess if you stick with the Valyria religion, you can try and reform it. Your lords will have slightly low opinion of you because you chose the faith, but it'll chill for a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to legitimize Oris. I still something we can keep an eye on. Okay, well, let's uh, readjust where we are. So, none of these threats are happening, which is fine. Okay. Uh, anything else I can do here? We can get a cup bearer in. How, how old are my children? Oh, they're very, very young. And I suppose we can ransom the rest of the prisoners as well. Okay, so we're currently at war with House Stokeworth. These guys in the north. And we are currently at war with Lauren Lannister. So in this timeline... <laughs> he's got like a bloody forehead. Uh, Lord Paramount Mernin, the king who knelt. So in this timeline, House Gardner knelt to the dragons. Not the Starks. That's uh, really cool. Okay, so we'll make sure to... Uh, like I said, still we still want to rally up at King's Landing. So then we can... March against the Lannisters. Lord Damon Valarion has been a lethal and loyal servant. I guess we could give him a reward. House of Valarion, according to Corlys, the second richest house in Westeros, the largest fleet. I guess we have to uh, placate them, I suppose. So I agree and I'll arrange an a reward. Uh, your grace, I'm deeply hesitant to ask, but the coffers of your loyal subjects are running low from the upkeep. Uh, I don't think we give them tax concessions, but I do think we can give them some gold. And that's probably not a bad idea. Okay, so let's merge up. Jeez, that is a stacked army. So, who have we got here? So, Damon's pretty good. And Merrill of Byford, I guess. Okay, right. So let's split in half, and we'll get Aegon to take this army to Casterly Rock, and then we'll try and get rid of these small units here. Oh, cool. The dragons, Meraxes, and Balon the Dread appear to be, oh god, having some, uh, appear to have become a mating pair. They can often be seen flying together. Or coiled about one another in the field of dragons. Ooh! We've got some dragon romance here. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, so Aegon, like I said, uh, head to the rock. And who's commanding this? I guess we'll get Visenya and... I don't fucking know you... Yeah, and then we'll try and push after these. Is there anything here I should be keeping an eye on? Oh, we haven't got a Hand of the King. That's probably something interesting we should do. Is that because we can't directly control... Um... at branch yeah 
I want this on CK3 so bad it actually hurts. Yeah, so do I. I haven't been back to CK3 since like the first couple of months of it because, I don't know, I just haven't had the mods. I want mods for that game. To be fair, um, the Elder Scrolls mod looks pretty good that they're making. If you want an aesthetic mods, I can give you that I used to work on the latest version of this. Well, cool, yeah. Um, yeah, DM me somehow if you want to send me a version or we can talk about something. Send me some links. Feel free. Uh, how cute little dragon. Dragon incest. Yeah, I guess. Is there any dragons? Uh, except for Balerion. I think there's a couple of others. I don't know how you make dragon riders, though, in this. I actually have no clue. Like, apart from Aegon. I, may, I, I go too quick. Sometimes. It's either too slow or not enough. I guess we imprison you. Okay, so we can enforce demands for you. Okay, so... Aegon is going with everyone else. Oh god, I can even get more units. I guess we'll send them there then. Alright, just gotta keep an eye on... Oh my god, these pop-ups. Oh, we're just calling everyone for the fight against the Lannisters. Uh, Quentin has some ideas that are... Oh no. In direct contrast to yours. How dare he question me. He is 50. 20 prestige. Aegon loses the trait authoritative. Yeah, I guess I don't really want him to lose stuff. Your Grace, I'm pleased to report the success the successful siege of Stokeworth. Nice. So Visenya and uh, Rainis worked well. Nice. So hopefully the Crown Lands has finally been subdued. We're still heading to Casterly Rock. Your family can tame drag um, tame dragons. Making a rider is an experience, but until there are dragons with no riders, that's not an option. Okay, I'll have to look into it. Even exists a mod that lets you play with John after Season 8. You can kill Bran. I, am I an Aussie? Yeah, I am Australian. I guess we let him bend the knee. Currently 5 o'clock here in the morning. Oh, God. I guess I just did it again. <laughs> I fucking imprisoned him. I tried to force imprison him and he fucking ran. Okay. So, we're still slowly but surely making our way to the rock. Alright, push north here. Okay, so we're about to engage the Lannisters, who are sitting with a 14 stack, and we'll deploy Balery on the Black Dread. Oh god. Oh shit, we did well, but it was a crazy fight. Holy shit. Fighting across the field, you see an enemy soldier cut off from the others. As you get closer, you realize the enemy soldier is Lord Quellon Kenning. Who's that? Lord of Kenning. Okay. Prepare to die, Kenning scum. I need to get out of there. Get back, Your Grace, I can handle this. Yeah, there we go. Let's get Quentin, who kind of um, was a bit of a shit a moment ago. Yeah, well, let's let him lead from the front. Are you trying to conquer Westeros accurately to Aegon's conquest? Yeah, we're going to try and do it. 
as realistic as we can. We had a cup, but the thing is, it's CK too, so you can't make it 100% accurate. We we assassinated um, the Storm King. Uh, we wanted to burn and destroy House Gardener and give it to the Reach, but they bent the knee, which is kind of fun. There's an alternative timeline. You can try to tame wild dragons, but it's in caps very dangerous. What the fuck are you doing up at 5 a.m., bro? It's a, it's a, when uh, most of my subscribers and viewers are on. That is why I'm up. I have to stream pretty much at night. Okay. So I guess we'll allow, yeah, Quentin to challenge. <laughs> the miss side of Quentin is enough to make him turn. Nice, coward. <laughs> okay. So... I suppose we now try and deploy Balleri on the Black Dread and the Siege of, excuse me, uh, Castly Rock and Castly Rock really high up. The dragons were still able to bring it under our control. Nice, your grace. We've taken Castle Rock, but King Lauren, Lauren Lannister is not here. Okay. Where is he? I wonder. Alright, back over here. Uh, right, we haven't got enough to take. Oh no, we got some here. Hang on. So let's split that and then send half there. Okay, what's happening here? So we're just sort of sitting. Can I try and get some of these units to Aegon. That would be brilliant. Especially these units here. Hammerhorn. Because now we got 13k. So we can engage there. Because there is a risk every single time we fight with Balerion that there's a chance that we can lose him. It's not much, but it can happen. Nice. Hopefully that's the last of the Lannisters. Yes, King Aegon's conquest of the rock has ended. Lauren has now uh, bent the knee. Perfect. Meanwhile, we're still over here sieging this out. <laughs> Sneaky Lannisters. Have you not slept yet? Got to be so damn tired. Yeah, I, I, sleep, I sleep during the day. I wake up in the evening. I'll go to bed after this stream. But yeah, no. If I'm a bit tongue-tied, <laughs> I'll get the occasional word wrong here and there. That's why. It's pretty late here in Australia. How many Lannisters did your dragons kill in the siege? I don't know. It was like 10k, wasn't it? So no caves in Castly Rock neither, it seems. The crab feed are new better. <laughs> Hide in underground. Oh, we got a Faith of the Seven Uprising. Oh, shit. I guess that's because we, uh... Didn't go with the Faith of the Seven, I suppose. Wow, that's an unforeseen consequence. We can rightfully imprisonment. Yeah, so maybe we shouldn't do that all the time, because it seems to... Kind of backfire quite a bit. Oh my god, there's so many notifications here. Yeah, so... We didn't really kill that many Lannisters. Okay, so... I guess we go for another kingdom. So the Vale, the North, or Dawn? Uh, where should we go? You can see your kills, I think, on the main character screen. Does it say somewhere? I don't know where it'd be. I think that's a Riverland Faith Uprising. It doesn't show up on the bottom right. 
So you shouldn't be at war. They are hostile, though. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's gone, has it? Yeah, because... Oh, hang on. Because there were House... No, House Blackwood... Um, oh, shit. Are of the old gods, aren't they? Ah, so that could be a problem, guys. <laughs> we gave the only house in the Riverlands that, uh... It believes in the old gods, the trident. So, I'm assuming that's why there's a lot of uprising. Veil, one vote for the Veil, two votes for the Veil. One for the North. Uh, Dawn was submitted in the original timeline. Well, we haven't gone for them. They, I don't think they bent the knee for ages. Next to the Bloodline Axe and Skull. Okay... I'm fucking blind. Oh, kills. There we go. So, yeah, war, uh, yeah, treasury. Oh, yeah, so this is cool that we've got like a Balerion's whip. We've got the Gardener crown, the Stormlands crown, the Driftwood crown. Ma so I can like manage this stuff? Cool. Yeah, so... Whoops, it's behind here. Yeah, so I guess these are all the people we've killed. 26 kills. Is that what you guys wanted to see? Yeah, so I guess we can go for the top. So we killed a couple Castamere's. Oh, we killed Sir Joffrey Lannister. Oh god. Or maybe we did kill a bunch of Lannisters with dragon fire. Hang on. Oh, God. Kraycall dot. Yeah, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, we killed a bunch of them. Then we killed a couple Greyjoys as well. So he's fucking body count is 26. <laughs> yeah, people. I think people want me to go to the Vale. I think that makes sense. Time for them to believe in the old dragon gods now. <laughs> I would say the Vale, yeah. Bro, you wiped out half the family. <laughs> well, maybe we can have a look. Hang on. Oh, shit. No, you're right. Yeah, here, no, let's have a look at this one. This one's a bit better to see. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Oh shit, we wiped out a fucking bunch of Lannister shit! <laughs> oh god. Now the reins are in costly, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, go to the Vale. Oh, surely this boy king isn't gonna fucking. Oh, whoops, alt tabbed. Oh. Yeah, surely this uh, King Jonas of the Mountain and the Vale, he's six. All right. Well, let's uh, head to Harren Hall to rally up. And we've got some units here in Stokeworth as well. I guess we could get rid of the uh, the navy. Nice Lannister genocide, yeah. I suppose. We can call for a trial, that might be cool. Uh, Stokeworth is currently under my control. Uh, I guess it's not his fault that his kin are doing that. Yeah, I guess we could have a trial. That might be fun. Okay, so I'm going to call... Lord Lyman Borney for trial. Let's do that. Lyman Borney has demanded trial by combat. 
And there's something in his champion in Dragonstone. Cool. We could have a King's Guard fight. I think that would be sick. Yeah, time to go roast a six year old child. Yeah. Try to go roast. Time to go roast a six year old trial a child. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna do that. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, so we gotta watch out for that nineteen stack. Oh shit, my bastard brother uh, Lord Paramount Oris has tried to have the Lord Connington arrested. Great. <laughs> but he failed. Okay, so finally we can stop this war against Stokeworth. And we'll send this other army up as well. So, excuse me, let's uh, send them to the Vale. Yeah, so we might actually attack that Faith Militia Uprising. We'll see how we go. The Vale King had surrendered because Visenya flew to the palace. Yeah, she flew to the Eyrie, yes. Okay, so this is Damon of Driftmark. So this is the Lord of Driftmark. Jakaris. Chorus Valarian, 21. Is that the Sea Snake from Game of Thrones? Maybe. My dear friend, I wish to give you the honor of sending my child to Dragonstone. Uh, sure. I'll take her as my ward. Why not? Actually, we're probably getting to the point where we've probably got some missions and stuff. Send for a mason to the Citadel. No. Can we make dragons... Uh, can we make King's Landing our capital? Is that a thing? Oh, we can do something here with the faith. The Valerian faith is very tolerant of... Uh, I can't even speak properly. Tolerant of other religions. Because of that, you can choose a faith that is highly accepted along your Valerian beliefs to improve. Okay, so that, that might be something to do. Alright, let's go to the Vale. Let's go to the Vale. To the Vale. We're gonna bloody win. Okay. Are we already winning? Is Aegon not fighting in this? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're fucking smashing them anyway. Jesus. I think we just manually fought them all. Shit. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Father, father! Calls Rainies, pulling my arm, pleading to play with her. And her latest toy. Completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of. Yeah, middle of a battle. Sometimes this kid can really be fucking insufferable. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Rainies, what is it? <laughs> so, just, so it's like, be a kind father? <laughs> Shit. Okay, yeah, so Aegon's here. Uh, have we got any other better commanders, like I said? Uh, it's actually really those two. And that is the Sea Snake. Wait, a character with the wiki page means they're in the lore. Oh, the fucking Arons are attacking Dragonstone. Oh shit, I didn't even notice. Fucking blind. What do you mean by the wiki? I don't understand. You can't deploy dragons in the mountains. Ah. Is that it? I didn't even know. Makes sense, I suppose. The characters with the wiki page means they're in the lore. Where's the wiki page? I can't... Seems like they can try to tr tame a dragon. I guess they have the blood of old Valyria, so they can do it. You can do it later. You can't. 
Yeah. Alright, cool. Um. Yeah, so I guess we split that in half. And we move the rest to the Eerie. Now, can we attack the Eerie with our dragons? Uh, we can. Your enemies think they are safe on the other side of Rock and Water, right? Yeah, so Dracarys again. We should be able to take the veil. Your Grace, we've rounded up everybody we could find the Eerie. What should we do with them? <laughs> Shit. Clap King Jonas in irons and leave the rest. Imprison the entire family in the dungeon. <laughs> Shit. Uh, take the it's only just him. Oh no, he's got some brothers. We've got Hubert Aaron. Oh my god, are we about to kidnap a bunch of children? <laughs> oh Shit. Is this some sort of ca ca to catch a predator shit? Oh god. The wiki page is right top corner where the age is. Yeah, so I am blind, so hang on. Uh. Oh, nice. Wiki of Ice and Fire link. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, so is that not there for... Oh, it's actually not there for everyone, dude. There's like these little sneaky little buttons as well. I'm not that observant to notice that was a wiki logo. You can choose everything after the conquest. Yeah. Yeah, the Valarians will have slightly lower chance to tame a dragon than you, but they still can. That's very cool. Yeah, got to be careful with the mountain battles. That's why Dawn was tough in the law. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess we imprison the entire family. We've got fucking... Like, heaps of piety. Uh, maybe we just take them into house arrest. Because we're, we're going to sue for peace and we're probably going to have to let them go anyway. So, how many... Here, because you guys want me to check the kills. Yeah, we just fucked up the Lannisters. Yeah, so who who were these? So I think we just, like, killed heaps of their family members. Is there a better tree than this? I swear there was a bigger tree. There was more like, yeah, uh, No, not like that. No, so that's it. We just, I think we just killed heaps of them. Like, we just shortened the branches of the Lannister tree. <laughs> Essentially. Oh, we can establish a King's Guard. Yeah, no, that's probably not a bad idea. Bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Okay, so the greatest knights of the realm have gathered for you at the Eyrie. You must choose one of them to join your king's guard. So we've got Celtigar. We have Sir Griff, Sir Griffith Good, Goody. We have Aelin. Um So Celtigar is the only one. With renowned. Oh, Celtigar's of Valyrian blood. That's probably not a bad idea. Sir Griffith? 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 <laughs> or Alan? Who should I pick? Celtigar? The Sir? Or Alan? What do you guys reckon? House Arrest? What version are you playing on? Oh, that was a little bit of a complication as well. I don't know what I... I, I figured it out. I think I'm on version 3.3.3 .3 of Crusader Kings 2. And whatever the latest mod is. Dawn with the only house to beat Aegon's conquest. Well, hopefully we can change that. I think we still go after them, unless you guys don't want me to. When you choose the King's Guard, you should choose the one with the most combat ability. Okay. Five. Seventeen. Woo! Seven. Okay, yeah, so maybe we should go with the Sir... He doesn't seem to be a major lord, though. Military points. Alright, I guess we'll go with Sir Griff... Griff Ith Good. New Lord Commander of the uh, King's Guard.
Okay. We can ransom some more prisoners. <laughs> oh, we can call Stokeworth to trial. That's probably not a bad idea. How Stokeworth has been a massive pain in my side for a lot of this series. Okay, so I suppose we go north. Because uh, then we'll have to make a decision about going to war with Dawn. What do you guys think? Should we try and risk it? Or should we let the Dornish be... Uh, brave and independent like they are in the law. Nah, go for Dawn, you can do it. Doesn't change too much. Oh, that's why you don't have the normal family tree. I don't know I don't know what, what that is. Alright, let's go against the north. Torrin Stark. So Brandon, Jorah. Couple children there. Okay, so Stokeworth has demanded a trial. Okay, so, so Stokeworth has demanded a trial before the court. But the court didn't seem very impressed. <laughs> it was very unconvincing. Okay. He made a bad case. The verdict has been reached. Lord Massey has been found guilty. So he can put his head on a spike, send him to the wall. He'll walk through the streets naked, then back to his cell. He'd be a better person and release him. No, I think we send him to the wall. I don't think he wants... I don't think we put his head on a spike. The Night's Watch can always use more men. Go north and then for dawn. Yeah, that's what I think. Strike Faith, Seven Peasants. Yeah, I think we'll do it on the way to Winterfell when we march north. Yeah, I think we'll send him to the wall. Send him to the wall. Uh, we've still got another vacancy. Well, we asked for the greatest knights. Maybe bring some knights from the most powerful houses. Oh, here we go. So, we've got Sir Gonther Gardener, who's only 11. We have Tarwin Tally and Sir Hosta Harroway. I guess we go with the Tarly, who's 19, but he's been married off. Sir Tarwin Tally. I don't think I would trust a gardener at my back. So now we've got a couple members of the uh, King's Guard, which is pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Your Grace, I see no point in conflict with you. Oh no, we didn't get, a, get didn't get to fight the Starks. To the wall with you, yeah. So, looks like the Starks lived up to their reputation. <laughs> he bent the knee. Nice. So, that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven kingdoms nearly done, and then Dorm. We've nearly conquered everyone, so we've got the last kingdom to conquer. Should we go after Dawn? What do you guys reckon? Always combat ability. Yeah. Still pretty young, though. Yeah, should we go to Dawn, or should we let them be free and independent? I don't know. I think we should go to door. I think we should attack him. We are Aegon the Conqueror after all. All right, let's go after Dawn, I think. So, Harlan of House Hoar is going to come eventually. Nice. All right, so where's most of the army? It's actually in the Vale. So, let's rally up to King's Landing, I suppose. 
Conquer it, strike dawn, go to dawn. I think I will. Okay, great. So Jonas is going to come. Yeah, so we're still establishing um, a proper king's guard, which is cool. So, any of these guys look alright? Another knight for from House Good. It's a little bit risky having too many King's Guard from the same house. So Gregor Good, or maybe they're just like Chads, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll give them some gold. And then I guess we go with powerful houses. Yeah, so we might actually have to allow a Gunther Gardener in. Oh my god, why is this continually coming up? <laughs> oh my god! I guess we allow Arlen, whatever. Oh my god! How many Kingsguard members do we fucking need? I guess we could, like, uh, send for one. Yeah, there we go. So we can get, like, a Valyrian 25 year old. <laughs> oh my god, how many Kingsguards do we need? I guess we're just sort of... Oh shit. So he refused. Great. Alright, uh, let's... Merge up and then we'll split it again. Cool. I guess we'll get... Oh god, they're already attacking Sunspear. The fucking House Hoar is there. They're so keen to just go raiding. <laughs> uh, and I guess we'll push you to Ironwood. Destroy the rebels first, then go to Dawn. Well, did, are they still there? No, they're still fucking up the Riverlands, aren't they? Well, maybe... I send Damon North. How many are there? Uh yeah, I guess I send Damon to see if we can deal with it. Yeah, so let's deal with this Faith Rebellion. Oh god, without dragons we were a little bit close there. Oh nice, you're s wait. Yeah, your son Aini. Wait, didn't I rename that? Did I rename him? Yeah, no, no, he's meant to be Aini's. We just haven't had too many kids. Yeah. Your son Aini's is a member of the royal family, should be protected by a member of the Kingsguard. Uh oh. Hopefully, we don't have any sort of Christian Cole situation here. Who should be sent to Blackwater Bay? So, who could we send? I guess we saw by relation to us or sort of happiness. Do we have a Targ? Oh, I wish I could have got another one. I guess Sir Gregor Good will send to accompany the Princeling. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, back over here. Where are the armies? Oh, I guess we're moving like here. Oh no. King Aegon the Conqueror has inherited the Kingdom of the Stormlands. Because Oris has been captured? What the fuck? What happened? Oh god! <laughs> A shareholder of the Iron Bank of Bravos has arrived in Dragonstone. He is seeking repayments for other deaths of my bastard brother Oris. What the hell happened? 
so we've got so Aura somehow got himself captured by some fucking whatever these people are Valantius people what the hell bro they're destroying the river lands yeah they're fucking everyone up I gotta stop them so oh my god So he is imprisoned. No, but he's in. No, sorry. Why is his liege lord over here then? Oh, I'm mistaken. Hang on. No, he's imprisoned by the lord of Griffin's Roost. Oh, shit. Can I just say, hey, can you, like, release him? Maybe it might pop up. Um. Oh, shit. I kind of owe them nothing, though. Ah. Uh, I guess we just pay off the debt. We have received rumors from Griffin's Root that your bastard brother has been thrown. Oh, no. Shit. I'm the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. Nice. So that's been called in. I'm trying to focus on the invasion of Dawn and fucking Oris Baratheon has got himself captured. Oh, we're already actually down here in Dawn. Well, we'll allow. Balerion to Black Dread to do it. Your Grace, we've taken Sunspear. Nice. Good start. Let's try and continue to take more territory. Oh, they're actually here on this little island here. Nice. Oh, no, he got killed. Was gored to death by a boar on the orders of... Lord Lester of Griffin's Roost. Oh, no. What a turn of events. He went after Connington and he fucking killed him. I always imagined I would be the first of us to go. But now I'm the one in mourning the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear Oris's jolly laughs. Oh, probably sounded like, um, Bobby B. <laughs> yeah, Robert Baratheon. Oh, no. Oris would have wanted me to cry. Let And let's drink to his honor. Friendship will only hurt us. Oh, no. Friendship will only hurt you in the end. I guess the friendship ends. Oh, okay, I guess we'll give them some gold. Oh, no. So that means how... Yeah, House Baratheon is fucked. They didn't have any children. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I'm trying to make it as law friendly as possible, but yeah, who the hell do I give the um, the Stormlands to? Do I div give it to my daughter Rainies when she comes of age? Who the hell has a claim to the Stormlands? Shit. Oh no, they do have a child. Oh, but is it his? No. So, his wife, Argella, obviously. Oh no, stillborn. Should I give it to her? Should I make her the Queen of the Stormlands? She does have a strong claim. Are there any other fa- Jesus Christ. So, this is house, uh... Dor and on. Dorandon? I, I, I don't know how to fucking say it. Oh. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah, because we, we assassinated him. Oh, shit. Difficult one. No, poor Oris. Yeah, rip. Robert's fate is now the fate of Oris. Well, yeah, I guess, like, there's not going to be a Bobby B Civil War now. 
Maybe marry... Uh... Can I marry her? Can that happen? <laughs> oh god, hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. My brother's wife is single. Great news! <laughs> is that what we're fucking doing? Yeah, try and find some other storm lawns. You said the name of the house, right? Yeah, I've never really tried to say it out loud. Durandon. Durandon. Yeah, so hang on. Uh, so... So should I do it matrilineally or not? Or should I even bother? No, that could be that could be interesting. There could be like a line of Yeah, I think I should do something here. Should I marry her? Or should I give it to my daughter? Or should I marry her matrilineally? Let me know in the comments. We still have to deal with the Dornish first. Be a good brother and marry your his widow already. <laughs> so fucked up. To someone, you think I should give it to the Stormlanders? Yeah, I think I should marry Aegon in there somehow. That'd be quite funny, I, th I think. But I'm just trying to think, should I do it? I think I want to do it. I think I want to marry Aegon to her. But do I do it matrilineally or not? Matrilin... I can't even say it probably now. Matrilineally... <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, so matrilineally. Yeah. What do you guys reckon? Alright, let's deploy the dragon again. Nice. The Dornish should bend the knee. Marry matrilineally. Yep. Would be a cool cat out branch. Yeah, so I think that's the play. We'll do that then. Anyway, we'll make peace with... Uh, dawn now so it's interesting that it came back to me but hey she could very well refuse so we'll see how we go so I will marry her you lose the game because no heirs with matri- wait what? we've got heirs of our own here I'll make a save just because I fuck it up hang on hang on hang on I'll do a save so Yeah, I'll call it this, so... I'll remember which one it is. He already has heirs. Yeah. So, let's arrange a marriage. And we'll go matrilineally. And then we'll see what happens. Uh, a new kingdom, the conquest, is complete. I have taken the swords of a thousand foes defeated and forged a great throne. With them using dragon breath of Beleriand the Black Dread. Nice. So I shall build a new citadel. Oh, for the kings. Right, yes. Yeah, so the seat should be at Dragonstone. Old Town should be my seat. Oh, so I guess we haven't fully constructed King's Landing. We're not going to have enough money, so we're going to have to ask for a loan. Uh, I guess we take out a loan. Yeah, we'll do that so we can build King's Landing. Nice. Fire and blood. Your feat of conquering the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne means... The bloodline of House Targaryen is now highly respected by the defeated peoples of your new domain. House Targaryen is now considered a traditional great house of the region. Fire and blood. Nice, right, so I don't think we're at war with anyone now, so we can drop the armies now. Sweet as. 
Oh god. A <laughs> great save name. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Okay, right, there's a there's a there's an argument about splitting stuff. Oh well, only time will tell. <laughs> we'll figure it out. To be fair, it hasn't actually Oh no, we have married her. Nice. I'm pretty sure you can bloody use the game edit and stuff. Well now I suppose. Uh, what have I got here? Oh, I've got too many seats. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's because we've got all of those other ones. We're over our VASA limit as well. So, we've got some decisions to make. Demand King's Landing. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess we demand King's Landing. Nice. We can request a coronation, which we should do. I've expect, expressed my wishes and desires for a coronation at the Temple of the Gods. Nice. But as you can see... Oh no, no one wants to join the coronation ceremony. <gasps> oh shit. No feast is complete without boar meat. I guess we'll send Quinton out. Ah, uh, your grace. So the Lord of Lan the Lannister Lord asks me. He wants he wants to take you my place. Yeah, sure. If he wants to come and fight and die in the army. You can continue after the game is with a different house. Yeah, look, it's it's I don't think it's that detrimental. We'll figure it out. That's why you gotta make a save. Okay, well let's just sort of go over everything now, shall we? King Aegon the Conqueror of the Iron Throne 30. Yeah, no, this is the tree I wanted to see. So. He has a daughter, Rhaenys, who's four. And Aenys, who's currently three. So. The hand of the king doesn't like me. That's great. <laughs> so that's all set up and fine. Yeah, so you probably should give out this. So I guess we... Oversee the realm. Train the troops in King's Landing. Collect taxes in King's Landing. We're starting to make 800 per turn now, which is nice. We're going to be able to upgrade the city. We haven't been able to spend much money on construction. Court Jester, I guess we leave it. Oh, we actually can now, like, properly bring more characters in so I guess we'll make <laughs> we'll make we'll make the Blackwoods the high almoner to secure some of the re uh, religious woes so I guess we'll bring in Torrin Stark Warden of the North we'll bring in these wardens nice and now so the military is fine we can break that down we're at a time of peace here in Westeros Oh my god, there's so many missions to do here still. Okay, so we've got another advisor council position. I guess we bring in the Lannister because he's kind of pissed off. We can push a claim on Old Stones. We do have a couple righteous imprisonments, which we can do, but I don't think so. We have a weak claim on Volantis, and we're over our vassal limit. Our size is too big. Um, 
Yeah, is there any titles that we can create, actually? Got a bunch of prisoners here as well. House Massey wants their independence, shit. The Lannisters want to depose King Aegon. Yeah, I'd be pissed off as well if I was a Lannister in this series, to be fucking fair. It's going to be one sorry-ass coronation with no lords there. <laughs> but at least we've got some boar meat, yeah. We're going to fucking slow roast it. Okay. Um, give the titles to Argella. Press on King's Landing. Yeah. So now that... I think the marriage just went through. Yeah, so I think I... Uh, so... Wait, no, I... Yeah, why can't I... I should be able to give her these titles. Or maybe I have to wait for the child to come of age. Hang on. Yeah, I can't seem to give any to her. That's interesting. Alright, I need to go fill up my water bottle and I'll be back in a sec. I won't be too long. Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, I had something fucking bound wrong. My bad. Had my mic muted. Cringe. Seeds the Malisters to the Blackwoods. I don't know what that means. Huh, weird. I guess you can't grant, grant titles to her. After you enter King's Landing, you need to press right on the minor city. What does that mean?
I don't understand what you want me to do there. You should be able to give it to a child, I guess. Yeah, so then it's ticking for yours. Right click on the random cities in King's Landing. They should be able to make new vassal option or something. That'll give them away. Just don't give away White Sword Tower since it's the Kingsguard Palace. Oh, right click on the castle pictures. Is that. Did that do it? <laughs> or did that make it worse? Make. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Rot row. <laughs> Is that what working? Oh, I changed the capital. <laughs> Shit. The fuck? <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. Stop! <laughs> you made the gate, your palace. <laughs> oh fuck, we might need to reload. Hang on. What the fuck did I just do? Hang on. Uh. How do I resign to the main menu and reload? I fucking d did a misclick there. Hang on. Round two, we'll go again. I don't know exactly what I did. <laughs> okay, back on it. The crown icon. What, destroy King's Landing? Destroy this title? Is that what I should do? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. After you press right click, you should see an icon with two crowns up the make country. So hang on, if I click on this, create new vassal. Is that what we wanted to do? And is that the same for all of them? Right. There we fucking go. I think we just did it. Fucking kill me. Yeah, so that got... So I still have a... So that did fix my domain size. But then what about the vassal limit? Oh god, I, n I actually don't even know how to fix these. Is it, I think it's because I got the storm's end. Still, they need to have a child. Yes, that's right, you did it. Did it for all of them. Yeah, so I think the va Yeah, so that was just the size of it, eh? Uh, Commander of the Gold Cloaks, let's give that title out. Do it for all of them. Except for the White Sword one, you don't want me to do. You need a Storm Lord. Yeah, I guess I have to get my wife pregnant, I suppose. And then I can give it to the heir. Alright, well now we're in a time of peace. We can probably speed things up. 
Lord Redwine has attended the festival in King's Landing. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck's happened here? So Lord Redwine has used his attendance of the festival in King's Landing to present a position for justice before the court. He commands... Oh. He said raiders of House Drummond have been raiding and looting his lands. F fucking Greyjoys. Yeah. Ask him to pay it back. Nice. Summer is nearly at an end, and so autumn. And the harvest is upon us. Nice. Yeah, a large portion should be put aside, because winter is always coming. Aegon. Oh, God. The Black and Lannisters are having a crack at us again. Try harder. This will affect you. Well. Yeah. I guess we'll have to, like, I guess we have to wait <laughs> until he has a child, because we can't just give her the titles. Yeah. Anyway, interesting event here. Aegon Targaryen, your reign of misrule must come to an end immediately. Me and my allies insist that you abdicate in favor of your heir. Be reasonable and don't let this resort to bloodshed. Lord Lannister, who the fuck do you think you are? I will not be blackmailed. Okay, your grace, so right in behalf of the bank. Okay. So, Anus spoke up at the feast. There's a problem plaguing his area. Quentin will deal with it. Oh, God. Now, after conquering, now we have to fucking... deal with taxes and finances. Killing time. Bro Civil War. Of course, it's the goddamn Lannisters Lamau. Yeah, I know. To be fair, they have a good reason to be war with you. Yeah, I did kind of kill half their family and fucking burnt Castle Rock. But also, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to leave the stream slash future video like. Would really much appreciate it. Helps out the channel massively. But you guys have been awesome here today. Thank you, thank you so much. You've been uh, super supportive. So thank you. To be fair, they have... A, um, they're probably are just looking for a reason to be at war with me, to be fair. Okay, I'll send some men. Oh, nice. Oh, so this is quite interesting. So, Aga Ella, my wife. So, she has said that... Oh, this is really interesting. So, Connington... Had her kinsmen slain. Yeah, so I guess this is sort of publicly. Brutally executed and demanded that he's brought to justice for his outrageous crime. So this is going to be our opportunity to get our vengeance on Connington. Yeah, so he should be arrested. The scumbag. So he must be arrested and made to answer for this. I will order... No. Yeah, so I guess... We want him to be arrested, so we're just going to go and kill him. So they unfortunately, they failed to capture him. Like, are we, we going to call the fucking entire Seven Kingdoms? And then House Dane... Uh, still pissed off about the fucking... Greyjoy Raiders, of course. Or Ironborn Raiders, to be exact. So, looks like everyone's coming. Well, looks like we're at war again. Oh no, what's happened here? I think some are standing with him. Oh shit. So, it looks like House Gardner. Oh no. I think House Gardner decided to um, 
Yeah, House Gardner, heaps of Crown Landers. They w- they didn't want Connington to be arrested and some Malisters as well. Oh shit! So we've got like a another civil war. Uh, okay. So unfortunately, we we put a Gardner on the on the King's Guard, didn't we? Uh, that's gonna complicate things. What a big civil war. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised at it. So, after Aegon's conquest, Oris Baratheon was murdered by Connington. And now, the Tyrells backing the Conningtons, uh, the, the Gardeners backing the Conningtons, have kicked off another civil war. Crazy. Damn, it's a full-blown civil war. Mad King advice, burn them all. Yeah, so how are they related exactly, these two? So... Right, okay. So this is a bit better. So, Mern Gardner has four sons, and his uncle was Garth, and his firstborn son was Gunther. So, it's their first cousin, so they're pretty related. Uh, like, they're close. Um, I don't, He's a knight of the king's guard, he'll do his duty. No, that's stupid. I think we should take him to the cell. I have no gardeners in the hall. We do imprison a king's guard member, though. I don't think we should kill him. It's just that you can't trust him. It's a yeah, it's the kind of thing Jamie Lannister would do. He can kill you if he hates you so much. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. Keep an eye on that Gardner King's guard. Yeah. We don't want him to break his oath. But well shit. My god, this is actually kind of crazy. I do want to try and get everyone to fucking King's Landing if we can. The crowning of the king in the name of the gods. I Aegon. <laughs> Just the gods. <laughs> of the House of Targaryen. The first of my name. Pl- promise to pledge and guarantee inside of the gods, protector and defender of the realm. We're at war. Yeah, we'll let him rot. Oh no, shit. I think Aegon's getting attacked here. Fuck. Hang on. <gasps> okay, so King, because because we got attacked there, because we deployed him there. Oh my god, we had to use the dragon fire. The land is consumed by dragon fire, and the king. Aegon Targaryen of the Iron Throne is responsible. We had to save ourselves. Shit. Oh, God. Let's get a random king's guard there. You crowned yourself king and everyone's trying to rush King's Landing. Yeah. Holy shit. We can't even, like, rally up, either. Fuck. Like, we might actually have to be a bit patient here. Hang on, so...
Because this is actually fucking really bad. Because no, the Starks, the Vale, oh, the Vale's coming. Uh, Dawn, I think Dawn rebelled, actually. Yeah, so I'd actually see... Fuck. Yeah, so we can't get those guys up there. Fucked. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, I think this is the main army then. Oh, here we go. Dracarys. Oh shit, I think he got defeated. Oh no, I think we lost. Even with the dragon, holy shit. I can't find like a solid area to rally up from. Try to get the men to rally a dragon so stone. Should be safer than the crown lands. Yeah, but then I'm constantly um moving units. Oh god. Yeah, King's Landing is pretty hot at the moment. Fuck. I just think our armies have been fucked. Like no one's coming. <laughs> Shit. Not good. Maybe we rally up at... Dude, even that's even more difficult. Like, I guess we'll make... I guess we'll chuck Aegon to Storm's End. And say, hey. Just try and get... If you can somehow get here, get to Storm's End and we'll make the play from there. Goddamn Oris causing this. And then we'll try and get everyone to come. Fight your way to Storm's End. And then we'll rally up and go. I think that's the play. Oh god, we're already being attacked here again. Everyone, to me! <laughs> Are they gonna do it? Okay, they're starting to come here, yeah? Put dragon riders as commanders. Well, I don't even know who a dragon rider is at the moment anyway. It's been a while since I've checked, like... Like, is she technically a dragon rider? Visenya and Rhaenys? I actually don't even know. I'd have to look here, doesn't it? Show me dragons. Yeah, so we've got Balerion, Vega, Maraxis. Actually got like dead siblings. Cool. Okay. Oh, I guess we have to go here. Why can't I deploy? Oh shit, because we're in the mountains, are we? Oh shit. Oh fuck, we lost again. Ah! Yeah, I don't know if they've all got dragon riders. Fuck. Yeah, we basically don't have an army. We might have to recruit one. Yeah, we, we've like lost our army. Like a 9k. <laughs> shit. Maybe you're right. Maybe we do have to go back to Dragonstone or something.
this uh, civil war is really hotting up. Holy shit! And so I'm so I'm really quite lucky that um. Aegon hasn't been captured yet, to be fair. Alright, I guess we're gonna rally up at Rook's Rest. Fuck. We'll need a new hand to the king eventually. Yeah, I suppose we get some mercenaries in. Oh, I can't ask for another loan. Shit. <laughs> oh shit, one of your beloved wives coverts the position of first wife. Oh. Covets, right. The position of first wife has been trying to woo you. So who's my... Right, so Visenya is my first wife. Rainey's is trying to be... No, Visenya is my first wife, I'm afraid. This is not good. <laughs> Things looking pretty hairy. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> no, we'll try and uh, push on through it. Yeah, so we're about to get attacked here now. Yep. Yep, so we've bounced around a bit. We've been thrown back from Storm's End. We've been thrown back from King's Landing. And now we're just trying to rally up here at... um Rook's Crest after coming from Dragonstone. Okay, well, let's uh, move now with the 7k, because that's enough, probably. Jesus, we're going to be careful here. We just have to go for King's Landing. Oh, we lost it. Oh, God. Yeah, because Dawn has stood with them at most of the Stormlands. Shit. They, like, straight up... Contested, um... Aegon's reign. Which is so, super interesting. Alright, hopefully we can destroy this 14k. Even with dragons. We are struggling. Nice, there we go. We just need to retake King's Landing. Alright, we liberated it. Nice. Cool. Yeah, because we don't want to be lulled into a um, 
trap. Well, I have to go out for dinner. Good luck on the stream, CMC. I'll see how it ends up later. Thanks, whatever, man. Really appreciate you stopping by and keeping me company and helping me out in chat. Goodbye. Good luck. And uh, have fun at dinner. Okay. We still probably... I've been sort of neglecting this. We needed a point in a hand of the king because that would help. Uh, I guess the Lord Valarian. Still have yet to have any children with her. Um, I guess after this war, we'll go back and try and do some important decisions. But we'll hold at King's Landing. That seems to be the point. And it seems like they're throwing more units at me as well. So the Targaryens and Arons are fighting by our side. Oh! So Ronald tried to slay the dragon. Nice. Anytime they push me, they're just clashing upon us like water on rock. Very solid. And now we've got like a 14k. Okay, let's move to Storm's End now. Oh, we might have to wait because there's a... A force of Martells here. We'll try and intercept. We caught them. Oh, they're giving us... The runabout. Okay, let's go to Storm's End then. If we could somehow kill and capture Connington, that would be massive. The land is consumed by dragon fire and Visenya is responsible for it. Okay, she's getting stuck into it now. Estamont tried to kill the dragon. Oh no, a madness and greatness are two sides of the same coin. And every time a new Targaryen is born, the god toss the gods toss the coin. Oh no. She's diligent. Hopefully she's not mad. Oh god, did they retake King's Landing instantly? Oh shit. We might have to divide the army. Uh, but we don't really own all of it, so it's like... Bit difficult. We're still minus 75 and we're really crushing them. We're winning every battle, but we're losing the war. Try to destroy the armies first, then siege. Yeah. I think we just gotta start hunting them. We can't afford to lose King's Landing again, though. Fuck me. King's Landing just keeps on getting burnt to a crisp. <laughs> Alright, let's have another battle against them. Oh god. Because Balerion is just in combat so much, he's turned into a ravenous beast. He regularly roams the lands of King's Landing, gorging on livestock. I guess we should offer them compensation. <laughs> But still, he's a fucking dragon. Nice. Another army crushed. I think King's Landing is just so weak at the moment. We keep on crushing them so much. I think there's another a new lord, by the way. Yeah! Lord Lester of Griffin's Ro Roost. Fuck you. <laughs> I fucking died. Get killed by Visenya's dragon. Yeah, so she is like full on dragon riding. God. Now their armies are crushed a bit. Oh no, we got some units here now. 
Still minus 70, because we need to start taking territory. Things looked a little bit hairy there, <laughs> but I think we've managed to pull it out of the bag somehow. Holy shit. But we're still not out of the woods yet. King's Landing is no King's Landing from Season 8. Yeah, I suppose so. I see there are some inside. Oh, one of our children's lacks a focus. I don't fucking know. Duty. Okay. So. Yeah, it doesn't really work if I split the army. So. I have to do this a little bit micromanagey. So hang on. So I'll move Aegon out. Yeah. Hang on, so much pop-ups are here. So, what I should do is get half of the AI army to come back to this. Just like roughly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. Aenys, the future king, is potentially going to be a genius. Okay, so... Then we'll get the rest to head south. To deal with the Conningtons. No, I don't want to do another imprisonment just yet. Nice, well, we took back King's Landing. And... We might be able to send this army to High Garden potentially. Okay. Yeah. So they're there. Go for Griffin's Roost. Oh, but it is a mountain, so we've got to be careful. But it's okay, we've got 6,000. We should be fine. Oh, do we actually already have it under our control? We do. No, we don't. We're sieging it now, though, but we can't assault for another 20 or so days. Oh, nice. We've taken Griffin's Roost. Yeah, we're going to put all of his fucking family in the dungeon. It's like six people in that keep, yeah. No, let's put all of house fucking Connington in the dungeon. Holy shit. This fuck has caused this civil war. 98% now. Okay, let's go here. Ah, oh, it's too big to hate take High Garden there. Shit. The Valarian who's Hand of the King has led a group of smugglers into Rainwood. <laughs> Shit. He thought they were fucking merchants. <laughs> you dumb fuck. Yeah, we need to crush this army in the north, and then we probably won. What's this? 
My lord, Queen Rhaenys emerges from a gathering of courtiers and make her way over to me. Would you do me the honor of bestowing a nickname upon me, my lord? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Queen Rhaenys the Pest. <laughs> the Handsome. I have more important things to do. The Loyal. This is... Put them on house arrest. Oh, nice. They've capitulated. Holy shit. What a war. So, for murdering Boris Baratheon, House Connington threw them into a massive civil war. Holy shit. How the tide has turned. Damn, that's a true story of a civil war. Holy shit. That was crazy. Wowzers. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, uh, Gela, you better be worth it. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so I let, we'll let him bend the knee. We'll let him bend the knee. We'll let most of them bend the... Oh, God, here we go. So House Martell went against us. <laughs> Just straight up make him forfeit Dawn. Should we let them bend the knee again? Like, I don't know. Should we let them bend the knee? Especially House Martell, even though they fought against us again. Bro, give the reach to the Tyrells. Yeah, but it might turn into another war. He's not our prisoner, so we can't let... He's probably just going to rebel. We're going to... If we make them forfeit Dawn... As he's currently not your prisoner, you may rebel. If you, he accepts you, will likely disappoint his... Yeah. He's not going to forfeit Dawn. So we'll let him bend the knee. We'll let most of everyone... Uh, actually, no. Is he our prisoner? No. There's a new Lord of the Reach anyway, I think. And the sun seems to be more amicable. No, you can revoke because they were enemies. Oh, whoops then. The fucking High Septum was on their side. Okay, yeah. So we definitely want to get him to forfeit Griffin's Roost. Because we actually have him under our control. So goddamn many of them bending the knee. No, I guess we, um... Oh, has his father died, though? No, uh... No, I guess we'll just... The Connington's can stay in the dungeon forever. Seeds Malisters to the Blackwoods. Oh, maybe I should have done it at that point, then. Didn't realize. I thought if I um, do it, they're just going to be back at war again. Causing another bunch of civil wars. We need a new men at arms. I guess you can. Still ordering commanders. We can get a high admiral.
I guess we check a garden or the king's guard just to be safe. Okay, nice. We can go into hiding. No, I don't want that to happen. We can banish some people to the wall. I guess we'll do that to you. Uh, so we can call these Connington, Stokeworths, and Gardeners for trial. I guess we'll just let them rot in the dungeon. I'm tempted to call the Gardener to trial. But I'm probably going to just send to the wall. I can't have him be on the King's Guard, and he swore an oath. But I don't feel like he should deserve to die. Okay, so now we've got some decisions to make. I think we should definitely expand the Red Keep if we can. And potentially improve its fortifications as well. Um, and we'll call out Court out of hiding. We will need to repay the loan at some point as well. Yeah, so there are all the past Kingsguard members. Okay, cool. We should be able to speed things up a bit, a little bit. Alright. So the gardener has put a case to the court. It was a poor case. He's been found guilty, and he's going to be sent to the wall. Poor fucker, Sir Gunther Gardner, 52, did his duty, was called up by the king to join the king's guard, and his fucking cousin made the decision to rebel, so then he couldn't be trusted, <laughs> and now he's 52, <laughs> freezing his balls off at the wall. <laughs> Poor fucker. You have territories that belong to the Trident. You must cede them to the Blackwoods. Uh, do I? Uh. What do I have that's theirs? Yeah, Rainwood's not there. I don't know about that, you sure? Anyway, we probably can speed things up now. The war has ended. Do you wish to reappoint the old council? Sure. Oh, God. Your Grace, I humbly request that you intervene on my behalf against the aggressor, Lord Paramount Torren Stark, who is invading my lands. <laughs> I would be eternally grateful. Why the fuck is Torren Stark attacking you? Is he attacking the... This, the fucking House Sunderland here. What are they called? The Sisters something. Si the Sister Steps or something? I don't know what these island chains are called. I can't remember. Oh, God. Here we fucking go again. Why? <laughs> what did he What did he do? Yeah, no. He, they're fighting over the Sisters. I thought that. Should I let them fight? I don't think... No. If they're fighting over this island here... He's fucking 11. His mother's in prison. Do we help? No. What, what do I care? Oh, God. And then these guys are talking for fucking... Oh my god, everyone wants me to join their war. I want to have a peace. You can fight your own wars.
Oh my god. The Lannisters want another fucking civil war. You need to keep peace in the realm because they rebel again because you're low opinion. It's weird that I'd like go to war with the Starks though, but now I've probably shot myself in the foot because out of nowhere the Lannisters have tried to fucking bring me down again. Yeah, so I will not be blackmailed. And now what happens? Uh, seems to be only the Lannisters that are f staying with them. <laughs> it only just seems to be the Lannisters. Oh, shit. Goddamn Lannisters again. Laenor Lannister. I guess I imprison her. Not demanding to stand up down to the aggressors will lower your opinion with the vote, yeah. Oh, we are very, very low on military forces. Oh, no, no, we're not now. We have to wait for them to come in. <laughs> okay, one of the... Oh, no. There was some corruption in Dragonstone. Your sister wife, uh, Rhaenys, has died. <gasps> she died under suspicious circumstances as well. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Now it falls to you to decide. Yeah, I guess we give her a big funeral. I guess we uh, invite all of the Quarter King's Landing. <laughs> So wind worm is, seems to be responsible. What? He's twelve. Oh no! Now he's really depressed. <laughs> Shit. So Rainy's. Oh, so Ainy's is the son, and Rainy's Vesenia's, um, her daughter. Okay. Oh god, we gotta protect him, holy shit. For the revenge for the Lord of the Westlands and the Castamers. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. So what can I do? Do I drown myself in wine because of my wife's departing? Uh, seek solace in another. <laughs> Mildred, who's 56. Widowed. This character is grief stricken. Minus 50 fertility. We're still gonna get it. I guess we seek solace in another. We'll spend lavishly on food at the feast. Uh, can we still have those trials? Yeah, we should have the trial for Connington now, actually. Okay, we're strong enough. Oh, hang on, wait. Yeah, let's rally up. And let's go again. Let's go deal with the fucking Lannisters. Thankfully, even though we kind of pissed off the Aaron's and the Starks. It seems to be okay. Uh, so he's been found guilty. Yeah, I'm just quite happy to send people to the wall, to be honest. She 
She was pretty young as well. 31. Okay, let's go to Castle Rock. Where is the Lannister army? Can't even see it. Colin Blue Grove is giving me a bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning uh, preferences. Oh my god. Bloody Celta guy, you dirty bastard. Dirty bastard. Threatened with exposure on this stay out of all factions. Okay. I think we've won that battle anyway. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, cool dragon riders. Okay, we might be able to do that eventually. Let's retake Casterly Rock for a third time, is it? But maybe this time, if we capture a bunch of Lannisters, we might be able to... Uh, yeah, g I guess give it to the reins. Oh, God. I thought... Wait, what? Though I thought my sister wife, Fazenia, to be a more reasonable woman, she's requested to duel... Meryl... What the... Well, no! I don't want to lose my... other sister to a bloody duel. I'll reward her because she'll be pissed off otherwise. Okay. Oh god, they're, they're attacking Dragonstone. Is that what they're doing? Didn't even know. Need to hit this army here. Stop dueling people. Holy shit. I guess we take Lannisport now. Uh, what we might need to do is just like... Chuck Aegon and the boys here and just go for Dragonstone. Oh god. No, I fucked up. No, why the fuck can't I deploy my dragon? Oh no. I don't think we're okay. Holy shit, that was risky. I guess bouncing them around like this isn't the play.
the AI is attacking the island because you can't attack them with the land easily. Yeah. Yeah, it's because we're minus 999, which is kind of whack. I don't know why that is. Yeah. I'm trying to wrap up this target, uh, Lannister War. It's just going on for quite some time. Uh, you can marry as you please, I don't care. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Oh no, here's more of them. There we go. Finally. King Aegon's reign has not been smooth whatsoever. Okay, so let's uh, enforce demands. Nice. War with the lion and the dragon is hopefully done. So, small wood can bend the knee. You can bend the knee. Um, yeah, so do we forfeit the Riverlands? So this is what you guys want me to do before. But what I was concerned is that we didn't have them in prison. So like, now we've actually got Lauren Lannister in handcuffs. That we can straight up make him forfeit. Should we give it to the Reigns? Roland the Second of Castamere. Even though his father was killed by the fucking dragons. I think that'd be a cool play. What do you guys reckon in chat? Revoke the Westlands. Yeah, I think so as well. He will forfeit the Westerlands. And... We'll eventually give him a trial. And we reappoint the council. Right, so maybe I... Okay, so there's a Lady of Dawn. So, every t single time these come up, should I actually help them? I suppose so. God, but they're attacking Sunspear. Right, who are we at? Oh, right here. Yeah, right. We just need to take this settlement. Okay, hopefully we can have a little bit of peace here now. Holy shit. You have to keep the peace in the realm between the lords, yeah. It's a tough one. Okay, let's... So now that we have the Westerlands, let's talk to the Reigns and say, Hey, I would like to give you the Kingdom of the Westerlands. How does that sound? And of course they're going to accept, you'd imagine. The Kingdom of the Westerlands, nice. Heaps of people can be betrothed, I suppose. That's not really my responsibility. So, Aenys is nine. Rainies is nine as well. I still haven't had a child with... Argella. But that's probably not too bad now. As unfortunately Rainey's got assassinated. So Penrose. A lot of dying there. Uh, we need a Master of Whisperers. Jonas Rosby will be fine. Any other minor titles we can give out? 
Oh, yeah, we're going to need a new sort of master of horse and master of swans. Oh, there actually is a lord of the stormlands. Shit, hang on. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Who the hell's this? Why is he the lord of the stormlands? Did I accidentally give that to someone? I don't think I did. It's just the way the mod works, yeah. Shit, did I give that away? I might have accidentally done it, shit. Who the hell is House... Toyn? Uh, to be fair, if we ever have a child, we could usurp it and give it to her. Doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. We can fight a war. But to be fair, um, maybe... Yeah. Toy... Yeah, just a random house down there. Dawn seem to be independent still. House Dane is fucking them up though. Which is interesting. Yeah, shit, I might have accidentally um, given it out. I didn't even read it properly. Okay. Making a little bit of money now. Still want to expand the red keep. Oh, the dragon rider thing went away. We can't repay any of those lords. Uh, we can't repay any of those loans yet. We haven't got enough. Did you lose Dawn, lol? Um, I don't know why. I get it just like went away. I don't know. We won every fight against them. I guess we did technically. God, the Greyjoys are raiding there. Okay, we can, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want, we want to banish Lauren to the, uh, not Lauren, Lorn to the Night's Watch. <laughs> not even a trial. Just fucking send him away. Pretty funny. Yeah, so hopefully those... Threats don't build up a bit. I think it was mostly the Lannister fuck that was doing most of it. After we, uh... Killed most of his family. Oh, shit. So the Lord Massey was able to... plead his innocence, innocence at trial. No Dawn has a civil war, they're on their own. Oh, that's what it's doing. Yeah, no, you're right. Lewin Martell is a part of my court. Oh, God. Rainies grows more beautiful every day. I had my doubts at first, <laughs> but I now cannot deny... Her beauty. Oh, no. You can't be saying that about your, her daughter. Your daughter. Bit weird. Alright, we can power through the, the months now a bit. And days. Because we're in a time of peace in Westeros, for now. So we had, obviously, Aegon's Conquest, conquering everyone, bringing everyone under our control. Um. Oh no, what the hell's going on? Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh no! Yeah, and then we had, obviously, um, Oris Baratheon getting murdered, the Con Connington Civil War. Then the Lannisters rose up again. Bro, she is your daughter, yeah. The Malisters belong to the Trident. You must give it to the Blackwoods.
Yeah. Like what, they're technically a split title. Ah, oh, we don't need to worry about that. Maybe another time. Yeah. It's very Targaryen to look at your daughter, I suppose. How many kills am I up to now? Uh, 30? Is there a record? Why does everyone know the kills? I didn't even know that was a thing. Anyway, we've got this to deal with. Your wife, Queen Argalella, <laughs> Argalella, Argella, has now died and it falls to you to decide to make a funeral. So, she got killed by Meraxes. What the fuck was she doing with the dragon? Maybe we'll just do a small funeral. Oh, God. She had a massive debt. How the... Why would she... We've got some truces expiring. Okay. Uh, we can upgrade the... Oh, right. We can spend that later. We've got so many debts we need to pay because we inherited fucking... Uh, Oris's debts. Okay, so rightful imprisonments. Yeah, what was she doing? Oh, God, now he's 38, yeah. We could have a succession crisis here if we're not careful. The Blackwoods are on a civil war of their own, yeah. He can't do anything until the war has ended, yeah. Yeah, so... House Toyn rules the Stormlands for some reason. A five-year-old kid rules the Reach. House Rain rules the Westerlands. And House Blackwood rules the Riverlands. Uh, Jonas the Lion. His mother was a Corbra. I was like, why is he called a lion? To be fair, he's uh, chatted up a bit. He was a little kid. Look at him now. Whew. And Torrent Stark is still the Lord of Winterfell. Aegon's now 36. Oh god. Argella tried to pet the dragon and got killed. Because it's hard to bond with uh, no Valyrian blood. Yeah. I suppose. <laughs> Fuck. According to your men at arms. Griffith good. Um, the peasants of Dragonstone are having frequent troubles with high women. I suppose we can spare the gold. I wanted Aegon to have like five children. Oh no. While searching for a lost chalice i came upon oh no a band of rogues who robbed me king aegon the conqueror can't get robbed uh wait what lady lenora of dawn Okay. Invite the people in my court to take part in a war game. <laughs> this would be fun. I guess we're at a time of peace. Okay. So we're playing at war. Okay, I guess... Wait, so... Hang on a minute. The Lannisters rule Dawn? What? <laughs> what the hell's this? Hang on. And we have her imprisoned. How does that make sense? How does she get the title of... What the fuck? How could... <laughs> Can someone tell me how the Lannisters are ruling Dawn? And the main one I have in the dungeon?
Can I somehow revoke her title? Hang on. Because we have her in the dungeon. Force marriage. Jesus. That's so fucking weird. Seven Kingdoms is a weird place at the moment. Bro, the Lannisters are back. Hello. <laughs> Time to burn them all again. Yeah. Uh, what quality of education would you like to purchase? Yeah, let's spend as much as we can. We don't want to make them... ...stupid. Uh, the Warden title sits empty. Yeah, I guess the Warden of the East should go to him. Your Grace requests the right to take the black. Uh, sure. If you want to go die at the wall, so be it. Wait, they took Skegos. The Starks can have fun with some cannibals. I suppose. You can check the uh, succession of Dawn somehow. Maybe a faction installed her. Uh, claimants? No, history. Yeah, I guess she somehow inherited it, but I don't know how that could be possible. Oh, her mother's Dornish. Oh, I, I'm an idiot. Hang on. So her father is Prince Tybalt of the Stony Sept. I want to have a look at this family tree here. Right, right. So how is this related to... Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is like the descendants of the rock. So Lauren, who rebelled, took the black. We killed a bunch of... These are the target... The, the Lannisters we killed. So Gerald... Oh, no. So... Ger uh, uh, Lauren's at the wall. Gerald is hanging about. Tybalt married... The heir, or the princess, because it's because it's dawn, they inherit by female, don't they? So Sir Lewin Martell, who's actually in my court, it went over him because it went to her daughter. Ah, uh, so that's why her brother looks more dawnish than her. I didn't realize she was um, her mother was dawnish. Oh, that's how it works. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's kind of cool. Fucking Lannisters, though. Throw them out of the Westerlands, and those rich bastards somehow find a way to fucking rule. Uh, Rogers actually wants to fight Lewin Martell. We could plot to put him on the front, the the, the um, the Dornish throne. I guess we'll just allow the duel. Because he might end up dying. But yeah, I feel like we've been a little bit... ...unlucky. With Oris and Rainies. We'll get, um... Aenys to have the best education he can. Uh, excellent. Griffiths. Griffith. His men at arms skills increased. Yeah, so we weren't able to um, have any children with the Stormlanders anyway. So maybe it's okay. Maybe it just doesn't matter that... It's gone to um, House Toyn. Never heard of it before. From what I can remember.
Oh god, the fucking masses. I suppose we'll have him arrested for treason. Because they are constantly... Rebelling against me. Uh, Brandon now has uh, um, succeeded his father. I like the emblem of House Toyn. Looking like Stannis' banner of R'hllor. Yeah, it looks... It actually doesn't look too bad. Like, that actually does look very Stormlander. Are they a book? This character has no wiki link. Yeah, so maybe they're just a random house. I don't know. They just, like, took over. But I don't even know now. Like, who has a stronger claim just, like, apart from some random... Storm, like, yeah, like, hang on. So, Oris died. And he had her. But, like, are there any of these left? Like, I actually... Th oh, no. Lewin, yeah, hang on. Of Tarth. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> like, I actually don't think we can go any far back. I think the line is broken. Like, actually... There are no more Baratheons and no more Durandans. Like, there's just none. Yeah, there's like none. That's crazy. Can I filter through, like, living? Yeah, no living members. It just says here. They fully died out. And House Baratheon has no living members either. Bro, that's so, that fucking sucks. What's your opinion on a hot day? Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's great. Uh, yeah, we'll give you to the north. Give you Warden of the North. Uh, Dickon Blackwood is currently under threats. Yeah, I guess it's my duty. Oh, so how's Hoars attacked him? So let's mobilize again. Brilliant. We need a new hand of the king. Um, I think we give it to House Rain. Yeah, let's make Roland. Because they're, they're really happy with me because we threw down the Lannisters. House Rain now w rules the uh, Westlands. Alright, let's uh, rally up at Harrenhal and we'll go against House Hoa. No, says no living at the top big of. What's hot day? Uh, House of the Dragon. Oh, nice. The dragon Meraxes has produced offspring of, a, offspring of its own, hatching a new dragon. Nice. The more the dragons, the merrier. Okay, nothing else we can do here. Aenys is 12. Uh, we can redo another Master of Horse. It's probably not a bad idea. Call Dragon Riders. You have issued, you've issued a call to all your subjects promising glory and wealth to anyone who can master a dragon in your lands. Yeah, this is what I wanted because now we're at war. Once we have a bunch of kids, we'll try and um, get them to face the dragons because it is risky. Lord Stannis the Tyrant. Of Wendwater. Cool. I guess we'll try and get some of these guys to stop their wars if they can. Uh, yeah, we're going to banish Massey to the last uh, the Night's Watch. He's been a culprit of countless rebellions. So he probably deserves it. I believe we had a trial with him before, but he um, was able to prove his innocence. Uh, Rainies is lacking a focus. 
I guess we go with diplomacy. Or I'll maybe go with intrigue, actually. Okay, we're rallying up at Harren Hall. So Cressy is going to be sent to the wall. <laughs> Where most of the people found guilty at Aegon's court seem to go. Oh, Brandon Stark is going to fight with us. That's kind of cool. We've got the Song of Ice and Fire going on over here. We haven't even um, looked to marry off the Targaryen children. We could marry them to a Stark. Oh, God, we could marry them to each other, to be fair. What's the difficulty of learning to play CK2 compared to Europa? Which at this point you should have its own university course. Um, I'm just playing on whatever. I think I'm playing on normal. I don't even know. I just played on defaulted. I said I haven't played CK2 for four or so years. Especially this Game of Thrones mod at the start of the stream. But yeah, I guess normal. I don't know. I've only had limited experience with Europa. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of it to be fair. Morgan Redwine. I don't think he should be a member of the King's Guard. But what's interesting here is we actually have the Lord Paramount of Dawn in the fucking cellar. Oh, let's try and get a new King's Guard member, I suppose. Oh, look at this. Gonthor Meadow Guard. He looks sick. Oh, no, he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my God. We got 30,000 units in the reach. Well, seeing as we've got some units here in Pike, we might be able to um, just move... Aegon over. Oh, look at this. Sumner. It's like a... I thought it was Summer, but there's an end there. Sumner Krakor. Yeah. That Krakor guy looks sick. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. A previously obscure man by the name of Maldon has successfully tamed a dragon. This remarkable man has sworn to fight by your side in the war. Who the hell are you? He's not even the Faith of the Seven. Holy shit. Maldon, you chad. How the fuck did you do that? Fifty-two. Okay. So we got another dragon rider here. Athan of House Valarian. Driding Maraxes, that's cool. So now we can actually have dragons battle it out. God, everyone's refusing the uh, call, which is annoying. Well, hang on. Oh, I probably didn't even need to move Aegon over here, to be fair. Okay, can I... Yeah, deploy the siege. Do they have armies anywhere that I can see? No. We're just going to have to take it slow. In, uh... The Iron Islands. Marry your daughter to your son, so you can keep the bloodline pure. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> 
Is, yeah. Imagine playing as Damon, yeah. I'm sure we'll get a sort of Damon in this series at some point. What? King Aegon, after listening to the advice of the group, my bannerman. Okay. The Dothraki. It's like weird seeing them negotiate with me. So, Lord Commander. Griffith. Good. Alright. Pretty good Kingsguard member. We've got a new commander <laughs> on the wall. Night gathers, and now his watch begins. Lord. Oh, wait, no, he. Yeah, so the Lord Commander died. Lauren Lannister, the traitor. Who rebelled against us so many times. Why are the Blackwoods in the Iron Islands? Um, I don't know exactly why they have this house. They took something. They are the uh, kings of the Trident now. Oh, it's because of House Hoa. Who technically ruled there. That is why. Right, the Iron Islands are a pain in the ass to, like, conquer. Holy shit. We've got other armies just, like, chilling about defending. <laughs> it won't take long, it's just a matter of clicking. Nice. God, we really are taking these debts. Your Grace, I run in behind at the bank. Uh, they refuse to honor a debt. So he should pay his debt. Right, so what happened now? Oh, so... <laughs> House Wench is now Lord of the Iron Islands. Weird, okay. Aegon's... Now turned 40. Can't wait for the snow show. Danilo. Yeah, I wonder what it's going to be. I have no clue, man. Like, is it going to be just like, I don't know, Jon Snow goes on a mission or something? Is it going to be something to do with Skegos? Is he going to be doing, like, helping the wildlings rebuild? And, like, some raiders rock up or something? I don't know. Is it going to be anything to do with the Night King? Or the land of always winter? Is he going to kill Bran? Are they going to bring back other ac um, other actors? Um, you can tell I've got countless questions. Nice. We can probably repay some of this. Oh god, it's ballooned to f 550. Because <laughs> we're still paying off so many debts. Let's, uh, command them to end some of these wars. Nice. Let's continue on. Luckily, we haven't had... Oh, God. Too many crazy civil wars after the uh, second one. I really hope they retcon season six or eight and all future content, Marcus. Yeah. No, I get what you mean. You conquered the Iron Islands. Yeah, I know, but like, I don't know why House Wick got it. I never gave it to them. But who cares? 
Oh no, Rainies showing every sign of being infatuated with Sir Simon of the Kingsguard. I think. Oh no, he's not. He's just Bywater. She follows him everywhere, and Simon is seemingly equally smitten. Oh god. Oh, this is sweet. Maybe it will pass. Uh. Do we separate them? No, but then they get stressed. Maybe it was passed. Oh, God. We've got a fucking Rhaenyra situation here, boys. Hopefully, John comes back to Westeros to become king. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, Bran gets sick or something. I don't fucking know. Oh, we're over at Vassal Limit. I'm not even paying attention. We need to... What was the strat? Go down here. Uh, no, hang on. Shit, can I even do it anymore? <laughs> How do I get rid of my bastards? I've got too many of them. George? George? Where is the Winter Winter, George? Yeah, Jon Snow's been like fucking bleeding out on the wall for like 10 years. Loving the casual tag incest. Yeah, well, he. Aenys is 13. Rainey's is 14. They are only half siblings, I think. Technically. Hang on. If we look at. Hang on. If I get rid of Aegon and go Visenya and Rainey's, yeah, they're technically. A, well, it doesn't work like that, actually, because they are... Uh, hang, on, hang on, now I'm confused. <laughs> no, because... The, yeah, right. They are... Uh, they're technically half-siblings, but it's like they marry... They're like first cousins. It's, oh, God, it's so complicated. I don't want to think about it. Jesus. Just like threatening with the dragon. Lord Dickon Blackwood has requested that Sir Tybalt Lannister of Stony Sept be sworn to him rather than me directly. Yeah, he can be your vassal, I don't care. Oh, and that helps us not go over, to be fair. Oh, shit. Lord Paramount Brandon Stark has tried to have Hallis of Flint's finger arrested. And now he's rebelled. Great. The Starks have been quite aggressive in this series, which is unlike them. Well, I say that. They did rebel twice. In a couple decades. First under Ned. Second under Rob. <laughs> and uh, John kind of called himself King of the North, to be fair. We'll try and get these wars to end, though, if we can command them. It is turning colder and colder. The people of Dragonstone can no longer work the fields. I wasn't um, expecting for there to be that many fields in Dragonstone. Are they fielding and farming dragon glass? <laughs> Is it some sort of crop? Not an ore? <laughs> we seem to be just like taking the fucking interest of these bannermen as well. Can't legitimize your bastard. I'll lose piety. Uh, is there anything else we can do in our intrigue? Hang on. Because we've got a bunch of prestige. It's actually off the charts. Is there anything that like doesn't cost crazy amounts of gold? 
convert the local religion of King's Landing. It's going to piss a lot of people off. All right, cool. Let's continue on. So Simon Strong has asked to get married. Sure. I've seen a little bit of how strong in the show in uh, Hot D. It's been pretty good. I quite like the um, strong bits on the small council. Hey, Rainies is now uh, come of age. She's fifteen. And then, I guess we, yeah. We combine the claims. That's a pretty Targaryen thing to do. To keep the blood of the dragon. Sure, you can have the vassal. Hot D's been pretty good so far. Yeah, I've spoken about it heaps in... Oh, God. The Robert Baratheon series we did, and the Damon series. We had a massive chat about Rings of Power and uh, that. Your grace, for too long, Brandon Stark has occupied my rightful state. What? Okay. I will stop at nothing to take it from him. I humbly ask you provide the coin so that I can hire an army. Ha are you sure you've got a proper claim? Who are you? Don R. Stark? Son of Torrin. Okay, so... So Torrin Stark, the one who knelt. Brandon's the heir, Jura. Oh my god, Donna Stark, third born, wants to launch a coup against Brandon. I like Brandon. I think he's the hand of the king, is he? Fucking crazy? Uh, no. But he's on the small council, I think. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna act against him, are you fucking crazy? A husband and wife musician couple has arrived from Lease. Okay. Sent from the Pleasure Houses. Houses. They're performing a range of vulgar satire plays. Oh, God. They will pay. You can't mock the king. So, House uh, Wench in the Iron Islands wants Hammerhorn to be directly to them. Sure. Oh, she's... Oh, no, she's still on... Uh, okay. So, she did escape, maybe. I thought she was in the dungeon, Leno. No matter. Why are you playing CK2 instead of CK3? Is there no good A Song of Ice and Fire yet? Or do you prefer CK2 over CK3? You answered your own question. Marcus, there is no A Song of Ice and Fire mod at all, from what I'm aware, on CK3. And the main uh, good one isn't out yet. If you don't do incest from time to time, the Blood of the Dragon event will no more occur. Oh, interesting. A Song of Ice and Fire, CK3 is still in development, yeah. Nope, the Conningtons will still stay in the dungeon for what they fucking did. Oh god. So, finally, the Iron Bank has arrived. <laughs> Wanting their debt repayments, because we've got so bloody many of them. Yeah, we can pay off all the debts. Nice. I hate having debt. <laughs> so, now we can probably spend whatever coin we have. 
on buildings and the like. We don't need to worry about paying back that debt at all. Very nice. Oh god. Riding astride Balerion, you fly to pay Lord Paramount Dickon an unannounced visit. Yeah, you know, just like Aegon rocking up at Winterfell. On arrival, you land on the highest tower. Oh no, this is... No, sorry. I thought this was in Winterfell. No, Dickon's in the Trident, right. Tower's Blackwood, not Stark. Your dragon let out a roar. Dickon was quickly to realize the implications of your visit <laughs> and whelping you humbly. Oh god. My dragon sufficiently count him. Discourage factionalism in the fucking Riverlands. Nice. Oh no. The world is currently ravaged by five epidemics. Oh shit. I don't know. Okay. That's something to keep an eye on. Oh, nice. So, Aenys is now come of age. <laughs> He's got a beard. We can't change his appearance. Fucking Chad. Well. Yeah, should we marry them together? Or should we try and extend the uh, family tree a bit? Because we've only got four living members, which is kind of sketchy. In the mod, if you have debts to the Iron Bank, they can fund your enemies or somehow they want to destroy the realm. Yeah, no. Uh, you do want to try and pay off your debts. Well, let's get um, Aenys and Rainies to marry, I suppose, any if anyone has any objections. I think it'd be a good idea. Build a dragon den or whatever. So when you die, the dragon doesn't just fly away. We could probably do that and save some of the money. It's probably not a bad idea. To be fair. Yeah, I think we'll marry them off though. Most excellent King Aegon. May you live in harmony. I accept your suggestion. Well, they're my children. But I do want the Targaryen line to continue. Got an open council seat. Uh... Yeah, let's give it to a Valarion. We're at war with someone here. Peasant Revolt. Where the hell's that? Fucking want. I agree. Then you can get your heir to tame it, yeah. Well, maybe we should ask for a debt. And then... 
Can I build a dragon pit? Or do I actually have to manually build one in King's Landing, like here? No. Is it in intrigue or is it manually? Hang on. Maybe I should just maybe I should just ask, get more loans. To be fair. So we can build a bunch of stuff. Yes, yeah, so let's like ask the Iron Bank for a loan. And... I guess we'll expand the Red Keep. Oh god, I went into debt. Shit. Yeah, I don't really care about Lease and them fighting. Somewhere in King's Landing. Oh, no, you're right here. Oh, shit. It's probably 875. It's the fucking... Oh, hang on. Stormsinger now drives... Uh, rides... Valorax. Oh, I thought, um, that other guy, was it Maldon? Yeah, he was a dragon rider. Yeah, the dragon pit's there, 875. Shit. I'm gonna have to wait. I should have not expanded, um, King's Landing, because we're going to need the money. Oof. Oh well. Hey! It's warming as winter comes to end in King's Landing. Nice. I knew there was a huge boar. No, huge bear. Somewhere in the caves of King's Landing. So... Should I join it? <laughs> no, I don't know. Come on, I just need to get out of the debt that I've done. Yeah, I found. I just don't have the money. Found with the dragon pit is. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, Dragonstone is doing very well. Nice. Your Grace, we have completed the latest expansion to the Red Keep. Fan, ta fan, bloody tastic! Still yet to have any children, though. Oh, wow. This is a surprising development. Uh, Visenya is pregnant. Oh, shit. That could uh, complicate things. Aegon hasn't been the most fertile, to say the least. We could do with another child. Oh, a son was born to King Aegon the Conqueror. 
Oh shit. Oh no. The court uh, physician Duran is worried about the newborn son's feebleness. <laughs> so be it, only the strong survive. Yeah, no, get the Grand Mace to try and treat his ailments. Whatever Grand Maester did, can't see any improvements. Oh no! He might not last long. He's very, he's a sickly little boy. Finally pregnant. How long did that have to be? Yeah, it was a very long time. What important decisions do I have available? Uh, all stuff that basically involves money. But we got a bunch. There's some f converting the faith stuff, but we can probably leave that. Well, we'll see if he survives, but if he does, we might actually try and rename him. To like Magor or something. I think that would be cool. And we're saving up for the dragon pit now. <laughs> what did I demand? The Aaron's not happy. Could you join a society? I don't even know. Uh, we haven't even bothered. It's like the maester stuff. I don't know if I can even can. I'd imagine it would be like be a maester. We have some truces expiring. Okay. Rename him after the uh, second son of Aegon. I have to have a look at my phone in a moment. I've got I've got the family tree somewhere. I think Magor is the one we want. Uh, sure, we'll allow the jewel. I don't really care about these two guys. Still saving up for that dragon pit. He's won now, so even though he's sickly, he does seem to be okay. list of all known societies. Click on the right side menus, drop down different societies we can join. I don't seem to be able to join any. Bravos, Guild. Yeah, we can't seem to join any of that, I don't think. It'd be kind of weird if Aegon did join some of that. I feel like it's for like minor lords and stuff. No, just maesters, yeah. Jesus. Right, so he doesn't want to end his war. Your grace, I'm afraid I cannot end this war. My war is just. I suppose you get branded as a traitor. Simon Bywater can marry whoever he wants, I don't care. Nothing like fixing a political situation with a dragon. Just showing up. 
Any good games that have got mods? I played the ones for Warband and Medieval 2. Yeah, CK2 is pretty good. Um, people have been saying the Bannerlord one's pretty good. I haven't played it personally. Okay, if he makes it to two, we'll give him a different name. These two are yet to have any children. As you ponder new ways to improve your realm, the court physician approaches you with a, a new idea, your grace. If we were to institute a system of apothecaries, the health of your subjects would improve. Uh, sure. We're trying to save up for the fucking dragon pit, but I guess... Hey, who's this? Oh, this is someone else. Jeharis. He's of the blood of old Valyria. Um, I don't really care. <laughs> a safe peasant is a productive peasant, according to your master of arms. There's a lot of high women and wild beasts at King's Landing on the roads. Okay. You can marry as you please. Straight away from Bannerlord because that game will turn my laptop, <laughs> laptop into a furnace. Yeah. Not good. If the Reigns and Lannisters battle for the West Westlands, let them battle. Don't intervene. The powerful Lime will take the Lordship. Yeah. Hey, who are you? Oh, Don Darren, right. I thought that was the other fucking one. You can marry as you please. Did that pox spread? Oh, we got the Grey Plague going down here now. Slightly changed. Okay. So he's now two. So let me have a look at my phone. Because I had it here with me. Because how it goes is... So Aegon and Rainey's... Uh, yeah. So the, the first king after Aegon was Aenys, and then uh, Magor the Cruel usurped him. So, let's rename Vehement, and we'll call him Magor, because if he ever takes over, him being a sickly, twisted sort of dude, that'd be pretty cool. And then it goes, Aenys, Magor, Aenys the first, Magor the first, Jaehaerys the first, and then I believe, yeah, it, it skips and then goes to King Viserys, and then I don't want to say spoilers after that, for future Hot D episodes and future Dance of the Dragon. Yeah, so let's uh, rename you uh, Magor. But hey, he might not last. He's a very sickly child. Yeah, I think I'll pay interest on the loan. Because we want to try and save up as much as we can. Okay, so, yeah, Lainor Lannister, Lainora, sorry, Lainora Lannister, daughter of Tybalt, mother of Amartel, rules Dawn, due to females being able to inherit. Uh, Harlan Toyne rules the Stormlands, after House Baratheon and Durandon are no more. 
Uh, Willem Gardner now rules the Reach after two failed rebellions. Roland Rain after his father was killed by Aegon's dragon. The Lannisters who rebelled twice. <laughs> we were we made the decision to um, give the Westlands to them. Uh, House Blackwood now rules the Riverlands. But they are having uh, troubles as they believe in the old gods. The only house in the reach, uh, the only house in the Riverlands to do so. Jonas Aaron is now a man fully grown. It's weird to see House Wench rule the uh, Iron Island. And then Brandon's up in the north. Cool. So that's what's basically happening. Haha, <laughs> the Lannisters rule Dawn, but not the Westlands. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. They had three failed rebellions. So we had to finally get rid of them, bringing in um, House Rain. And they somehow found a way to rule down in Dawn. Whilst riding through the woods, I came upon a peasant wench. Oh, God. And then I remembered an ancient custom called Lord's Right, where commoners or parent... Oh, my God. What the fuck? We don't want to have some Braveheart shit going on here. We don't want fucking Mel Gibson to attack King's Landing. Jesus Christ. Lustful. Lose 50 pi. I'm nearly tempted to do it because we need to up his fertility. I don't really care about the church's opinion. I guess we will... Oh, God, we'll do it because I want him to be lustful. And he is. But there might be a Targaryen bastard, which is kind of fucked. She is now 51, though. Visenya. Oh God, Your Grace, the dishonourable Franklin Vaith sent men to try and kidnap some Lewin Martell. <laughs> we need extra guards, apparently. I'll just continue to try and pay interest. Oh, bloody hell. Once again, the Masseys are rebelling. Didn't you learn anything from your fucking father? The dude's at the wall. In my opinion, which character would Mel Gibson play in Game of Thrones? I don't fucking know. Who someone's out with a mission and a vengeance? <laughs> the Hound, maybe. <laughs>
Holland rain feels I risk too much with my escapades and tried to pers persuade me to stop risking my life. <laughs> No one can dispute your claim because of the loyalists, yeah. Oh, Lenora has created the title of the High Lordship, okay. We're not doing any plots at the moment. We could do an assassination plot, maybe. Take her out. Throw Dawn into chaos. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, now he's hit 50. He's getting quite old. Oh, brilliant. Madness and greatness, of course, once again, are two sides of the same coin. Every time a new Targaryen is born, the gods toss the coin in the air, and the world holds its breath to see how it lands. Maegor is a lunatic, of course. Quite fitting, I suppose. What's this? Penrose. With Simon. Uh, sure. Bro, Law Murd. Oh, Bro, Law Magor. Right. Yeah, he's like legitimately becoming Magor, attractive, lunatic, like straight up. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. A crazy Mor uh, Magor is a good open. Yeah, it actually is. <laughs> Fucking Starks trying to arrest people again. Gotta love it. Catelyn did it. So why shouldn't the ancestors of her children do it, I suppose? Jeez. Is it just me, or is it like the fertility kind of fucked in this game? At the moment. Oh my god. I have... Okay, your grace. So by Emin. I have found for some time, now been observing the poor performance of the Master of Coin. Oh shit. Is the fucking Master of Coin been embezzling? <laughs> if failures have become a burden on the realm, maybe that's why we haven't got much money. We can accept... Five people are happy with it. And if we don't, four people are not. So I guess we accept. We need a new master of coin. Lol. And he's gonna take it. Start collecting me taxes. I don't think you'll be having any more children with your wife looking like that. Yeah, she looks a bit fucked at the moment, to be fair. <laughs> it's probably not a bad idea to maybe look for another wife. Because we've only got two children. Obviously the daughter and the son are married, but he's quite sickly. We might actually need to find 
Magor another wife. Uh, Magor? Um, Aegon. Who are you? Actually, maybe we should just try and f get someone. Hang on. So let's go. Young debutante. Here we go. Daenora, 16. Valyrian. Wrathful. Envious. Diligent. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Marry her to Aegon. Minus 400. Shit. Maybe not then. I guess she just didn't have the political position. So hang on. Who is this? Like, I want to be able to... Hang on. Where? Fuck. Well, she's in the court. Yeah, so she's 18. Westerosi Valerian. Greedy. Yeah, she's just like a courtier. For some reason, she's a higher rating. Well, let's do that then. Because what's... He's high Valerian. Does Westerosi Valerian really matter? I think getting him another wife is probably not a bad idea. can see her fertility. What is it? Oh. Just because I don't want to have a succession crisis if we can avoid it. Uh, however. Oh shit, hang on. Oh no, we're good. I was like, it's probably been a while since I redid the Game of Thrones music, but no. Still going. Oh shit, did I... Oh fuck, did I marry the wrong wife? Fuck, I think I did. No, because I married the one... Oh shit. Denora was the fucking one I... Oh, I misclicked, I think. Fuck, hang on. I was meant to marry... Her. I guess it didn't matter. Shit. Well, she's 53. Should we get him another wife? Fuck it. Nice, she's pregnant. Yeah, so they're both Westerosi Valorum. The pregnancy has made my, my wife more talkative and cheerful. Nice. It's fine. You didn't lose prestige. Yeah, I think that's what baited me in because I looked to clarify um, my, losing that minus 400. I think it would have been bad before, but it, if I did it before, but it's fine. Uh... I guess we go with Pride with Magor. Oh, wow. Oh, stillborn though, unfortunately. Who's his mother? Oh, she had a stillborn instantly. That was quick though. Oh, 
Ugh. <laughs> Fucking Crispian wants to be master of coin again. I do find it funny that Daynora wants to be the first wife. No, Visenya is my first wife. Uh, we're getting quite close to being able to pay the dra by the. Uh, yes, we can construct the uh, dragon pit now. Nice. My God, it took like fucking four years to actually be able to do it. Magor's now eight. Believe me and my family can do great things. Pride is no sin, I suppose. At a meeting of the small council, Roland Rain thinks Sir Willem Malister should be a member of the King's Guard. A fine notion, which you rejected. Uh, we do need a new Kingsguard member. Whoa, Morgan Scourgeford. That's, he looks like a fucking Chad. Get him to step forward. Where can I download? It's gone from the Steam Workshop. It's on Mod DB. SSG, SSG Cringe. Thanks in advance. Yeah, just type in Mod DB. It's there. People are saying it's on the workshop. I never thought it was on the workshop, ever. But I get it, though. It is, um... Sort of Game of Thrones. Licensed, technically. I think George and his fucking lawyers do send, send uh, cease and assists ever so often. They did it to Total War Center back in the day, from what I can remember. A young, talented artist from King's Landing proposes a painting of Lord uh, Arion. Air Arion. Yes, that's my father. I guess he can go in the Great Hall. Yeah, so Visenya's two years older than me, which is interesting. Oh god, someone's got grayscale. Gross. Oh shit, Visenya. Wait, they want to overthrow Lord Commander Griffiths. Oh shit. I think I might have to decline her shit. Minus 20 vassal opinion. Oh no, Visenya, what are you doing? I appreciate it, TMC. Maybe I was mistaken. I think the sub mods are on there as well. Yeah, you just need to go mod DB. Go on the mod. Just type in Game of Thrones files. Uh, that go on when you're on the mod DB page, it just says files, I think. No, oh, that's not good. Uh, press on the syncretic uh, faith option and choose Westerothi faith. Where are we even looking? Faith of the Seven, is that what we're talking about? Convert to local region, Faith of the Seven. No, no, it's here. Right, I'm blind. Choose this. Choose Westerosi Faith, you reckon?
Visenya wants to be Lord Commander of the Kingsguard Lamau. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, what the fuck is she saying? What? Oh, God. Oh, shit. The woman who took... Who I took on my Lord's right night all those years ago has arrived at the gate bearing a child. Oh, God. Who claims is mine. I suppose he does have my eyes. God. She can have some gold for the child care. Lies, wrathful. What of it? She should be honoured. I should adopt the child into my house. A man named Maker appears at your court. Should I adopt? Do you reckon he's my child or not? I think there's a way to know. Isn't there? You can actually see. Should I? Should, what should I do with this child? Because we, yeah, on we we did the fucking Braveheart thing, because I wanted to get the lusty trait. Now there's a potential Targaryen bastard. Do you reckon it's gonna be a new Baratheon? <laughs> yeah. Should I adopt or not? Sure, yeah. I guess we'll adopt. Uh, make our waters. So, is there a way to check? I think I should rename him though. Adopt, sure, you could use him. I think there's actually a way, isn't there like a... Oh, I can't remember. I think there's actually a cheat, actually. It's called, like, True Heritage. I can't even fucking remember. There's a way to, like, go into the code to actually see who the father is. Because surely this is just... Surely that is not guaranteed. Like, Aegon is not 100% his father. It's just what they think it is. I could be wrong. Um, Makar Waters. Grant him a kingdom. Legitimize him. Yeah, we could eventually make him the Lord of... the Stormlands. Oh god, he died. Died of severe stress, so maybe we could. Press what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So how do- yeah, yeah, okay, I'm bringing up the thing. Like, oh, I'm actually curious to know, like, what- what's the- like, I'm- I want to figure out, like, who his true parentage is. I can't remember the stuff. I can't get it up. And then write. It's like you can actually see. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. And that should say. What does this say? Debug info. Yeah, so we can check the parentage. Right, so we click on him. I guess it is. I guess that just, it just says. Yeah, so I guess it actually puts them there. Because if it wasn't, he would have a different father here, wouldn't he? Yeah, so he's definitely his Aegon son. That's cool. And now it's disabled. Cool. Because that's a way to check, to check as well. Um, Maker. I actually kind of like that name. Because what was the next one? We had on the list. Jaharis. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Okay, let's uh, continue on. So how old is he? Five. Okay, I guess we can improve the fortification in and around King's Landing. God, there's just like the fucking politicking for 
certain positions. Uh, I guess we can have a look at the dragons. It's been a while since we've had a look. I'd be curious to see who the dragon riders are, if there are any. Oh, the world is a dangerous place. Plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill you. Oh no. How is the play going? Oh, Pox has hit the Westerlands coast. <laughs> Fucking Lannisters. Maybe sending it against, um, potentially... The, uh, the rains. Alright, she wants to be Master of Whisperers. Is that what she fucking wants? They, I don't care about Bravo C traders. I want the money, if anything. These two. Oh no, they had a son. Nice. Uh, Baylor. Nice. So the Targaryen tree is seven members strong now. We're slowly but surely building up the Targaryen dynasty. Aegon's now 55. Still has had no children with his second wife. Well, technically he's fourth, but third wife now. <laughs> oh, right, nice. During a epidemic, we can shut the gates. It's pretty funny. I love how the wars have subsided to now, after three bloody civil wars. If they want a jewel, so be it. We'll try and spend as much money as we can on his education, Magor. Oh, nice. Maytar is as well. <laughs> no matter how many times I try to point out the virtues of Marshall Griffith Good, uh, my wife for senior won't listen. She cannot take no for an answer. Not when she decided that her friend should be Mars Marshall. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Fucking Visenya. Alright, so you're 42 now. So what's going on in Dawn? Okay. I'm just trying to think if we can put some of these children on these... Foreign f Thrones event... Uh, 
foreign kingdoms eventually. God damn it. Aegon out in the fucking woods getting robbed again. Hilarious. Oh, wow. A warden title stands empty. Oh, shit. Oh, Jonas died of poor health. Had a lot of children, though. A bastard or two. Uh, Artis is now the heir. I guess it will fall to him. We might better make a play for the Vale. Hilarious. We might look to marry some of these guys off soon. We might need to look for another prince. Actually, you know what? Because we've married those two. I don't think I can arrange... No, I can't arrange them. Oh. Can I arrange the marriage of my... Grandchildren? Maybe. We should probably look around. Yeah, because everyone's having... So We're all having sons. We can probably look around to try and find some marriage alliances, so... We might be able to get the veil under our control. She's betrothed. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's like an Emma Aaron there. But I think we go with... You're better. So, can I arrange a map? No. Oh, so you've already been betrothed. Yeah. Because that's the thing as well in this mod. You kind of want to be... A little bit early on the betrothals. Okay. So, that's an option. House Gardener as well. Uh, the women of House Rain are a little bit older. And... What about the Starks? There's a lot of Stark children. Maybe uh, Lady Bethany Stark. So that's one. So she's probably the one we nab, I think. Because she's 12. How old are you? Magor's 12. So, let's... Betroth Bethany Stark to... Yeah, so I can't actually do my... I can't actually marry off my great-grandchildren for whatever reason. Too similar to the law, lol. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, you won't accept the offer. Why won't he do that? I guess we have to... Send a gift? <laughs> Send them the crown of winter. Like, we can wait before we... Hang on. Oh, I'd nearly send them a gift to get it done. Okay. So, let's send a gift. And let's... Try and get this... Uh, betrothal done. Fuck, they're still not going to accept. Oh, that sucks. Alright, let's go for Emma Aaron then. Dude, they're not inclined as well. Why does no one want to marry my children? For example. Alright, maybe I need to go here then. I want to marry into the other houses if I can. Is it because they kind of know what we're trying to do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, why can't we get these betrothals? Pr 
When is the CK3 mod coming out? Uh, Broden? I don't know. It's a lot of work for the devs. Yeah. I imagine it just takes time. Uh, maybe once they come of age, they might be more inclined to marry into our houses. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, this fucking Stark guy. That's so funny. Because we got a thing from him before. Brandon. Who is a drunkard, to be fair. His brother, Donda, has risen up against him. And might actually succeed in this civil war. Crazy how nobody wants to marry the Targs. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Can you do the Faith of the Seven? Have I not done that? Yeah, I did that. Last time it didn't pop up. Oh god, look at the fucking Starks going to Civil War. The fucking Lannisters want me to join them in a small dinner? Fuck that. Oh no, what happened here? Oh shit, we gotta deal with another Warden of the West. His brother has taken the throne. Did you not have any children, Roland? Hopefully his brother Kenneth is all good. Is that Otto Hightower? But not him? You should convert to the seven like Canon Aegon. Okay. How do I do that? The thing is you can marry because you need to be the faith of the seven, right? Yeah. <laughs> My wife, Vizenia, has avoided me for some time now, on the rare occasions. We are sister, wife, and brother, husband. What need for love? King Aegon breaks up with Vizenia. Oh, no. She's like fucking 60. Oh, nice. Uh, Rainey's is a dragon egg. A oh, dragon egg. A dragon egg. Oh wow, this is surprising. My wife, uh, uh, Megan, is pregnant. Jeez, we've been married for 10 years, what the fuck? <laughs> Money continues to flow to through the trade post in King's Landing, but your relations with a family from Pentos has soured. I, I could move against the trade post if I wanted to. Yeah, so... Denora, we had the one child and he fucking died. Stillbirth as well. Uh, 
Oh, we've got a couple options for Commander of the Kingsguard now. We've got a new one, okay. Oh, we've had Tali there for quite some time, to be fair. <laughs> Gregor is either incapable or non-human. Hmm. Okay. Is this, uh... Gregor... Clegane? I see the Lion of House Lanny. I don't trust it. I'm going to allow... Uh, Talwin Tali. And we can get a new Kingsguard member eventually as well. Oh no. Canada the Westerlands has provided me with proof of vicious slander. <gasps> and it's from Vesenia. Oh, please just hurry up and die. Holy shit. Our relationship has gone kind of bad. <laughs> Apparently one of the courtiers has been annoying my wife, Asenia. She took matters into her own hands. Oh, God. My wife, Megan, asked me to buy her some new clothes. Uh, sure. So Axel Buckler, 19 Marshall, that's pretty good. Hey, a daughter was born. Nice. That'll be good. We could maybe marry her to... Uh... <laughs> Uh, Magor. So, what should I call her? Just looking at my list again. So, what was her name? Larissa. No, I think we'll call her uh, Alisane. She was a prominent Targaryen. She was pretty cool. She's known as the uh, Good Queen. Oh, but they've worried about the bloody health of her again as well. Damn. The Targaryens are awfully sickly. My god, what happened to that ironwood? Oh fuck, she got her nose cut off. Oh shit. An ironwood, um... Ro Rosaria the Young. Goddamn Dornish Lannisters. Oh, we've got another ambition we can pick with, um... Aegon, forge a bloodline. Murder or execute 30 people. Oh my god. Make the ace, Jesus Christ. I guess fall in love? Because you might be able to fall in love with one of these. One of his wives. Yeah, I don't know if we can convert to the faith because he's got so many wives already. What the hell? Throughout the day, you've noticed you've grinding your teeth. Mm, you've been in a bad mood all day. You can't abide by lazy people. <laughs> So I guess we're going to get stressed. He is 59 though. So we're probably going to get stuck getting bad traits. Bro, she's Tyrion Lannister's daughter. Tybalt. Oh, right, yeah. Dornish being shrewd, right? No, I get it. You're still Valyrian faith or whatever. You need to convert. Uh, what? Convert to... Yeah, do we want to do that? Yeah, convert to local religion, faith of the seven. Yeah. 
There we go, I guess we converted now. Oh no, recently I've noticed the pitiful status of my son Prince Aenys. I've just been informed that the cause of his aches and fatigue is a case of the flu. Oh shit, the heir of the kingdom. Call for the physician. Where's where's a doctor in this place? Oh, we need a new master of arms. We're still looking for Kingsguard members. Osgrey seems alright. What is this on? Uh, it's Crusader Kings 2. We need a new hand of the king, to be fair, because... Uh, Roland Reign died. Is this official? This is Game of Thrones. So is... What the fuck? So Vagar's going nuts. Cool. Yeah, who should I point as a hand of the king? The fucking Ironborn want me to come and party? No. Oh, I really detest giving it to a fucking Malister, the Lord of Seaguard. I'd nearly give it to the Rain again, to be honest, even though he's not the most fit for the job. Just because of, like, fucking favoritism. If anything. Oh, shit. Looks good. Is it on an Android phone? Yeah, it is. I've got like an iPad that I'm playing on. Like, can't you see me like touching the screen here? It's all touch screen, man. Oh, okay, yeah, because so I can, when I converted to the Faith of the Seven, Visenya actually technically became my concubine and not my queen. And Daenora didn't become a queen either. But she's got no children, so it doesn't matter. So Megan is now the Queen of Westeros, which is fine. Because... She has, like, the only child, and probably only potential future child-bearing. I guess we pay Makar for a little bit more. Bro, you, even he can't get rid of my mads. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Alright, well, um, let's do a quick little command here, but we'll recap the rest of the Seven Kingdoms, and I've got to really end this stream here today. We've been going for five hours, and I really need to go to bed. I'm going fucking loopy. But we've had an absolute banger of a stream. We've had a fucking marathon. I've had so much fun here today. Um, time has really flown by. Wow. So, five hours in, Egg on the Conqueror is 61. All the Westeros is under our control. We've had some crazy ups and downs. We had the conquest of Westeros, <laughs> there, which was so much fun. Then we had the crazy Connington Civil War, Oris Baratheon. My brother was killed. Then the Reach and the Martells went to war. House Martell lost a lot of family members. The Lannisters as well. So House Targaryen has 10 members at the moment. So at the moment, when Aegon dies, it's going to go to Aenys, his son, and potentially Baylor as well. So let's have a look at this. So how do I trim this a bit better? So I just want to see Aegon's children. We'll get rid of this. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, why is Aenys so young in that portrait? Yeah. So, Baylor, Magor, Makar. 
Nice. We have a lot of future descendants as well. Oh, as if Rainy's died. What the fuck? But Aegon has one, two, three, four, five children now. Magor is of age. Probably look to marry him off as well. So, House uh, Toyn of the Stormlands. Clarence is now the Lord. We could maybe look to put potentially Makor Waters. Or maybe even uh, Magor on here as well. Lenora, who is half Martell. A Lannister sits on the Dornish throne, technically, because of um, females that are allowed to rule in Dawn due to the essentially Nymeria precedent. Willem of the Reach rules the. Yeah, the Reach. House Gardeners rule it as the Tyrells never. Well, the Gardeners never stood up to the dragons. They bent the knee, which is surprising. So, no House Tyrells in this series. And House Rain rules the Westlands due to us crushing the Lannisters, but there are still Lannisters left in the game, which is hilarious. Uh, House Wench currently rules instead of the Greyjoys as House Hoar fell. The Arryns are looking a little bit sketchy. We might have a new Lord of the Vale. And Brandon is still Lord of Winterfell. Throwing back a civil war from his brother, by the looks of it. Age of Conquest. Uh, that's what it is. But anyway, got to wrap things up. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for keeping me company in this stream. It's been so, so much fun here today. Thank you for participating in chat. Thank you so much, The Last Dragonborn, for helping me out. Thanks to Marcus. Thanks to Broden. Ben Hunter as well. Danilo. And all the lurkers. Whatever, man. Thank you guys for participating in chat. But yeah, I appreciate you. I see you, the lurkers. You don't have to chat and comment, but I really do appreciate you guys uh, stopping by and spending some time with me. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, if you haven't already. I gotta go to bed. I'm super tired. I'm gonna sleep well. And we'll be back 24 hours from now with something. Um, I don't know. We could continue this campaign, if that's something you would like to see. But we're kind of it's kind of died off a bit. Like, we've got peace in Westeros, but would you like to see just, like, a full-on Targaryen playthrough and run? But things might kick up a bit when Aegon dies, you know what I mean? We might lose... Realm Authority, but I'm, I could be down to doing more. Just depends on you guys. Or maybe we should do another scenario, but... Yeah, thank you so much for supporting this uh, Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones playthrough. Like I said, haven't played this mod in four years. And there's still people really excited and thirsty for content. I think it's got to do with how good Hot D is doing at the moment, House of the Dragon. Like, how well it's received. It is really... Uh, reunited my love for Game of Thrones and I'm sure everyone in the community as well who likes the Song of Ice and Fire yeah so I try to do daily streams I try to kick things off at about 1am Melbourne time but usually I'm live streaming on the other channel for at least two hours prior so sometimes a little bit late or sometimes comes up so uh, I usually try and roughly stream from these times but it might be an hour or two depending on what happens so uh, London time, 4 p.m., New York time, 11 a.m., and L.A., 8 a.m. But hey, I am technically streaming like 1 o'clock in the morning, so it does take me a little while to fucking get things going sometimes. It is late, but it's 8.40 here in the morning. My voice is going. I'm very, very tired, but thank you very much for watching once again. Uh, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care of yourselves, fellas. Um, stay healthy, stay beautiful, and much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys. Thank you so much. i got to go. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.